it's a bit okay, loud so now. Like this. It was perfect before. <laughs> Why did you change it? Because because it reduces all all of my volume. Just a sec. Like this. It's Voila. fine. You speak loud anyway. <laughs> Everything's fine and dandy. All right. Like, all right. Like this. Is that all right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It is. Nice to see you, uh, Julia. Nice to see you too. <laughs> it's, it's Julia, true. right? No, it's Julia. 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 I I did the same mistake <laughs> last week. You you need to learn from my mistake. <laughs> that guy's gonna punish me. And that happens to me all the time. So. Yeah, it has. <laughs> um, so yeah, are you guys ready? Yeah. Jam. It bounced. Oh, that was not his <laughs> voice. <Yeah. laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I just made a weird voice. You're not even on uh, Roll20, Fash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm handling a lot of things at the same time here, so <laughs> let me change the <laughs> You mean the music? <laughs> And the fucking setup and the potato mixer and everything and I, I don't know what like what everything goes into making the music work to be honest but thank you. Uh, are you using a voice meter? <laughs> yep. Oh. We lost Max we lost again. Max again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So pay uh... your bills, Max. <laughs> Maybe maybe he's having like uh, electric flash because of some the rain. Some rain. Are you FYI, I, I started recording. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> I shall put up some pants now. Discord <laughs> add an error, so just close everything. Hmm. <laughs> Great. I hope it won't happen too many times. All the time. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, <throat> last time. Um, so, uh, leaded by a, a trail of very obvious, uh, gory events, uh, you met with Tamara. Um, yeah, and ignoring the, the complaint of the dwarf. Uh, she quickly proved her skills by spotting uh, another goblin um, that you dispatched quickly. And then uh, you guys moved through the, the tunnels and found a group uh, of more goblins. Um, there was a, another smaller leader uh, that presented a, a human that you later discovered as uh, being the Gurdon's escort, uh, Sildar Alwinter. Um, after some bargaining, uh, you were able to have the goblin release Sildar, uh, uh, which would be the demise of the goblin, because right after he let him go, you guys just uh, like went down on the remaining goblin and uh, Yemek. Uh, you dispatched them. You may uh, try to flee, and a good uh, a good positioning from Cade and a flamboyant jump kick from uh, Fern succeeded in uh, constraining and capturing the goblin. Uh, you made camp there um, in the same room, uh, and the the dwarf. Uh, uh, and yeah, with the dwarf violently making sure that the goblin could at least say my name, I'm any just sound. not any dwarf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, say my name. You, you also learn uh, what Garden has discovered from uh, Sildar that the Wave Echo Cave, uh, a lost cavern from uh, 500 years ago, and its forges of spell. Said, said to old many riches the the morning came and you started making preparation to leave uh ma making a couple of trips to the cart 
with all your loot in an ambient smell of burned goblin flesh. And that's where we left off. Now, what would, what uh, do you guys would like to do? Find my notes. <laughs> well, I believe with that cleared cave, we should actually just head out towards Fendlin with uh, what's his face, human Sildar. Sildar. Yeah, finally. All right. So you guys just uh, move along. Yep. So I'm gonna uh, pull out the map that you. Uh, swiftly saw last time. You're gonna plow. What? You said you're gonna plow. No. Pull out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, right now, the the cave of the goblin is uh, maybe around uh, here. So you guys left the cart um, on on the road. The cart is still there, and you managed to bring back all the loot from uh, the Lion Shield uh, coaster and put it in the cart. Uh, and uh, yeah, the oxen were really hungry, uh, having uh, waited for you guys for uh, at least a day without being attended to. Um, so yeah, you guys get on the cart and uh, you want to keep moving or you want to uh, try and find some thing for the oxen or because you guys um like it's um because on cart you can travel more uh more ground but it's still it's still like five, uh, 25 miles to the town and it's about uh, like the, the sun is uh, raising like the top. So it's about uh, it's closing to lunch. So uh, you, you, you guys won't make it in, in the trip, especially with the oxen being uh, um, so hungry and tired. I ask like uh, someone have a uh, food for uh, for the, the 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 animals. I got chicken. <laughs> I mean oxen. They, we just have to find some tall grass and we'll, we'll be fine. So okay. I think we might just just go forward, and if we see a good patch of grass, we rest a bit. The oxen are gonna eat. Maybe we, we can go on foot to spare the, the oxen a bit. Okay. So, but we we, they, we have to keep moving. So the just so I understand the the next town is Fendelin. Lean Lane. Yes. Fendelin. Yep. Okay. And it's uh to two days travel. Or one one what? full day travel. Yeah, since it's all, almost half day, um, and like it's about twenty five miles out, and you guys couldn't make it in a full day uh, if you would have started really early in the morning. But uh, the time it is right now, you won't make it in one trip, especially uh, like I said with uh, uh, well. You, you you would be at, at the same pace as walking because uh, you're going to be walking next to the cart. I knew it would have been faster by boat. <laughs> yeah, but traveling inland on a boat, in a boat. it's a bit hard. A That's where cart comes handy. There's no legend that says it's possible. I'll tell you about it another time. So, we all go on foot until we find some grass for the oxen. Everyone agrees? 
Yeah, nobody speaks. Okay, we go. Uh, trying to so, zoom in on my fucking map. It's trying a scroll. Have the map. There. I'm the map. I'm Somewhere. the map. I'm the map. Uh, what's the? What's our average speed on foot? It's uh, 24 miles right. for a full day. No, no, I mean, uh, how many miles an hour are we doing on foot? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Never winter. So we're near the Sword Mountains. If I recall, uh, on the map it says it's 15 feet. <laughs> I didn't put the grid on on that one. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, we're gonna go. Yeah, with, I, uh, I don't the know this. You, you had the exactly. map. You had the map, uh, Kevin, somewhere. Yeah, you, sh uh, you guys should be seeing it right now. Yeah. On roll twenty. Yeah, do. Shit. I, I told you you're not on roll twenty two. Oh fuck! <laughs> Sorry. That's what I, I said. I'm gonna pull out the map, and okay. I lost you at that point. <laughs> so do I know if it's a trading? This is a trading route. Route. Uh, Fandelin is a really small town that is being reconstructed or like repopulated, because uh, it was abandoned a long time ago. So right now, like it. it it's not passing on any, uh, well, the Tribor uh, Trail could be um, uh, like a, a bigger road, but the road, like half of the, 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 the way there to Fandelin is a road that pretty much only goes to Fandelin. So, um, oh, it's considered, it, be... it's a town, it's not a city. Yeah. Okay. So th there, there wouldn't be. The um... shithole is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it, yeah there wouldn't be that many supplies going uh there frequently so i don't think we can say that it's a trading route per se it's a trail. we can say it's near to uh, uh one day of travel so right yeah that's what i said like it's one day travel if you would be uh leaving uh like early in the morning it would yep. it would take you guys the whole day to get there but it's already like um late well it's uh early afternoon so um you guys can like um s start like your journey but you'll probably have to camp or if you guys want like to ride until you get there you you can do it but uh you're you're gonna arrive pretty late in uh Mm. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> how's it go? Is there a scout somewhere here? I'm used to uh, navigate through a bit of boat and uh, more people. So, well, I think uh, I'll take the reins. Let's go. Yeah. Now whip the so, All right. Hey. Uh, What's your name, uh, pointy ears? Hey, spiky ears, I'm talking to you. To me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, you, 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 you guys and, and, and stuff, you, they, you, you, you're going ahead usually, right? You, you like explore stuff and you like nature and you like to be alone and that would be fine by me. Okay, first, my name is Tamara. And second, yes, I have that, so we can search something for the for the animals. And I have uh, a lot of experience in that, and to in hunting. That, that's right, that's right, nature and stuff. So he can go in ahead and scout. What, exactly. what he's basically saying is, can you scout ahead in a dwarfish, piratish so manner? I fucking said. <laughs> You want a uh, scout? Yeah, I can. <laughs> God damn it. They got grains in their ear or something. But it's too easy. It's just a straightforward. Where, where are you going to go, but, Sam? Are you going to stay in the a... cart or are you going to ride ahead too? I'm going to sit on the cart. 
Uh, me. Right? Me too. Me too, I, I'd like to sit in the car. I still feel not too good about like what happened in that cave and I still need some of my rest. So if I can sit in the car, it would be really great. Worse. So we got two in the cart, uh, Cade. You want to look yes. like behind the cart? No, behind you can sit in the cart, cart. or just look behind. Just to make sure we don't have anybody. Oh, I can walk. Should be fine. Until the hawks get better. So. All right. Well, I, I mean, like with all the like with the supplies that you're gathering from uh, Never uh, yeah, Never Winter. And the supplies that you found from the the uh, the lion shield, like there there isn't much room in the car. There's like the spot at, at the front for uh, whoever is holding the the rein and another one, but that's pretty much it. So okay. if you if you leave it to Sildar and you have Fern, then that's it. The other ones are walking. Okay, so. I mean. All right, there's not, not enough there, food in the car. That cart. would be racism. So, Sam, Sam, since you wanted to be in the cart, you want to drive the oxen? I can walk. I got, like, legs that are, like, four feet tall, so I can walk faster than the ox. I can walk. Are you going to drive the oxen, Sam? You have to. You're going ahead. You're going to scout ahead anyway. You get okay, like miles, miles ahead. Far away. Far away. If I can see, if I can see you, it, it's bad. And I have good eyes. So, yep. Chop, chop. Okay, so I'm going to take the um, the car. And I, I understand there is a straight, straight uh, path. Yeah, That's it? There, it, there, there's a road. So, um, okay, so just to be clear, so the the, uh, the marching or order is uh, Sildar and uh, Semat is in the cart. We have Fern that walks uh, next to it. K Kate is behind, and Tamara is in the front. Yep. Yep. All right. So uh, yeah. let's ride. Tamara, oh, no, I'm not Tamara you, you you can make a perception check. Yep. And oh. uh, I'm gonna do it too. If it's possible. Yeah. Nice. So I got I got good eye. Four. But, oh, well, same for me. Since I'm uh, right behind the oxen, I can do a perception yeah. check. <laughs> can I do one? <laughs> Everybody does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you can. Oh, oh natural, natural 20. 20. Nice, nice. Four, the 24. Point? Where's my fucking natural? What? And I counter it with a natural Sorry. one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are, are you uh, trying to look for your dice, Joe? Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's all well, the I, smoke, I, but it. just... I don't see too good. It's not great. So we got disadvantage, right? Why? I don't know. I had. Uh, I got. I got. Uh, Twelve. Is, is there a fog? Uh, I mean. How's no. the weather? The weather is pretty clear. Oh, okay. Yeah. So twenty-four. <laughs> Great. We got awesome. a good scout. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but so... you don't have dice. I have the dice, not... but it's. Uh... I have Max, dice, but have it's more, dice. It's more easy here yeah, right in roll up. 20. Okay. Everyone can see my rolls. No? Yeah. You can see mine? Yeah. It's 19. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't 19. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so yeah, you, you guys may... Uh, so, is the idea to uh, reach a point to, um, uh, to, to camp or you uh, go all the way to Fandalin? And we arrive uh, late at night. Um, uh, I would say, I, wait, I think we should maybe push the oxen a little bit and just go, go to Vandalin. Even if we get there late, we shouldn't camp out again. Anyway, we got yeah, a, we got a wounded, so dark. just 
Just get rid of the yeah, wisdom for that. Just don't light any torches if we get attacked during yep. the night. All right. Kate. Okay. Okay. All right. It's a lantern. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's like it's like a big, big spotlight that says attack us. We got loot. You can see with it. Oh, that's a good point, though. We should actually just go all the way, since we have uh, we have a lot, lot, lot of lion chest stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's time to get paid. <laughs> right. um, so yeah, with the uh, with uh, we're traveling, uh, right? camera scooting, scooting ahead, uh, scooting. you're pretty sure that uh, you uh, like you have a good view on and able to uh, see anyone that would try to ambush you guys. So you guys are making your way to uh, to Fendelin. Um, anyone who wants to like chat while on them. on the way? Because uh, Sundar will uh, look at uh, Samat and say, "Hey, why are you guys? Uh, like, if it's not too uh, too much for me to ask, but why are you guys uh, going for, to Fendelin anyway? Like." You, you just needed a job, or you have a reason to go there? It's gonna cost you if we wanna know. <laughs> what about you, Fern? I'm betting the, the oxen. <laughs> <laughs> Good oxen. Something tells me we don't want to know. Well, for me, I'm going because I'm searching for a creature. Interesting. Maybe there is uh, someone in that town that knows uh, where I can find this creature that I really have to hunt and kill for revenge. So you you want to get revenge? Yeah. That, so I got two things for you. First, why revenge on what? Because this is interesting for once. And twice, why can I hear you and aren't you scouting ahead? I'm scouting and... I'm talking to in the same time. So yeah. <laughs> she she covered so much ahead that we're fine. She can she can back up a bit. <laughs> so I don't know if you want so, to listen to this uh, boring story. Go I ahead. I really don't have to do it. Go ahead. Bad, we we kinda it, have it, to stay awake anyway. Just go. Can this beast kill us? Pretty much, yeah. Because I my, wanna know. Because, <laughs> because my brother was uh, killed by his creature. And uh, I'm trying to find this creature because uh, my brother was a really important person for me. So What, what kind yeah. of creature are we talking about? Are we talking like a bugbear? Are we talking crocodile? Yeah, that's kind of... That's are kind we, of important. Are we talking about, uh, like, Tarask? <laughs> Maybe it's a dragon. A dragon? That, <laughs> that doesn't exist. Must have been uh, <laughs> some kind of a uh, folktale or something. You, you elves eat mushrooms, right? You eat mushrooms a lot, right? Yeah, so, we eat a lot of mushrooms, but uh, I see you what's gonna crazy happen. stuff, too. As a Your matter of fact, brother ate mushrooms. He saw stuff like a big bird, fell into a puddle, drowned right there. I've seen it happen. <laughs> as a, as no, a matter of fact, like I would that. say that dragon do exist because, at least, a good thirty years ago, a good thirty years ago, Mount Hoot now, Hoot now erupted, and it was the cause was probably dragon, and it kind of. Destroyed everything east of Neverwinter. I'm not reading backstory at all. <laughs> no. Wow. At That's all. recent knowledge. I'm more like pre-apocalypse knowledge now. What do I know about this, uh, Mr. DM? Pre-apocalyptic knowledge? Yep. I'm not sure what you, you, you mean. Well, pre-eruption of the mount. What do I know about this story? Who now? As a character. Well, I mean, uh, it, it's a pretty. Can well I make a story. history roll? 
Yeah. Go for it. Nine. 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 <laughs> Nine. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, like pretty much, like everyone in the region uh, knows the story. Like, uh, it, it it was a pretty uh, wealthy town, and a uh, volcano erupted and uh, destroyed the the whole town. Uh, right now, it's only ruins. Thunder, thunder uh, tree. Yeah, thunder tree. Sorry. And right now, it's mainly ruins. Um, yeah, that's what you are. You've heard. I've lived in Thunder so it's just, Tree. Just a big volcano that erupted and made it made a mess, and that's it. Well, it, it is yeah, said that from the eruption of the volcano, there's a dragon that came with it. Maybe it's the same dragon that the Rara's hunting. So they, you say that your brother was killed by a dragon? Yeah. That's right. How? That's a bit pretentious to me. So you gotta tell you gotta tell me every detail. I love those stories, though. Was it was it eaten whole, roasted? Why do you ask me for that? It's really painful, you know. I'm, First, I'm you probably, gotta start with the hungry. start. You gotta you gotta you gotta tell us what your brother looks like, so I can make a pretty mental image of him. And then you're gonna describe in detail how much how he died, but really slowly, so I can, you know, just uh, enjoy. Okay, so uh, my brother is a elf too. Was a elf too, and um, we make this for money. We hound a lot for money, and um, we just have a bad day, and. The day we went for this huge dragon and um, and finally uh, when uh, we are fighting with him, uh, I make a mistake and uh, my brother died for that. So pretty much. So this that's it. You say you were hunting and then you just had a bad day and then your butt is dead. That's not a story. <laughs> How big was the dragon? Are we talking like... Stop, a big stop one. That's right, you gotta stop add me. detail to the story. It was as big as You gotta ocean. stop me, you're gonna lose my hands. Stop me. <laughs> Wish more, more like that. More was really big. And... Um, what color? What? I, I mean, maybe if we can find them, maybe there is a bounty for that. Maybe I don't want to fight no dragon. Me. If I see a dragon, I'm going to fucking run away the opposite side and there is mine and just drink there. You can help me to kill them, to kill him. And uh, maybe we can share the bounty for that. Look, I don't know about you guys in perspective, but we got almost our ass kicked by goblins. <laughs> I'm just Almost. going to find the information. If I find someone to know about this dragon, I'm going to go and kill him. And uh, I know there is a big bounty for that. So maybe you can do it. Maybe you cannot, but that. Maybe well, you're it's scared. Really helpful if someone Count. go with me. Count me in too, because I got something against that dragon as well. Okay. <laughs> your your brother. Died also? <laughs> Not my brother, man. My family was in the town of Thunder Tree. And because of the eruption and the freaking dragon, we had to flee. And uh, as in poverty, we were kind of kind of well. We were doing well before, but now my, my parents suffered a lot because of that. So whatever I don't know caused... if it's the same dragon, but probably, we're going to yeah. find out. There's uh, not that many dragon. So the so uh uh what's your name Tamara Tamara? Yeah. What what color was the dragon? Uh what DM color? what color was the dragon? <laughs> color was what the dragon? goddamn color was the fucking dragon that killed your I son would of say, a bitch of I a would brother. say green. Something hints that it was green. 
Because when you load roll 20, there's a green dragon on top of it. Where? Okay. So <laughs> must have been the green dragon. <laughs> I'm going to send to you when I ask to the DM. <laughs> because I don't know the color of the dragon right now. Yeah, the well, I mean, has ended. What? Um, like it, it doesn't have to be the same dragon, but if you want to be, uh, if you want it to be, it it, it was uh, like uh, Fern said, it's a green dragon. <laughs> the mine is not green. It's a uh, red. And are you colorblind? Really big and. Um, and yeah, so I don't know if it's the same, but I don't Tell think me, so. Tell me, what color is this? Red. No, that's green. You're colorblind. It's <laughs> a, it was a green dragon. Too. So uh, you t <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me we've got an elf who doesn't see the green. <laughs> I'm going to drink to that. <laughs> And, and, and um, I, I don't have okay. a, I don't have a drink. Anybody have a drink? I want a drink to that. Oh, I'm drinking tea, but uh, Fern is actually drinking uh, whiskey. Wait, cheers. Do I have whiskey in my equipment? Hold on, I gotta see. No, I was talking about you. Anyways. I got rations. Does it count as whiskey? No. No. I have a water skin. Can I? It be filled with whiskey? It can be filled a bit with whiskey, but right now it's water. Damn it. Otherwise, it would be a whiskey skin? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> all right. Uh, where are we at with all that? So yeah, and... same dragon. At the end, it's the same dragon. The same dragon? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, it now it's dragon. the same dragon. Of course. <laughs> How many dragons exist in our small map of ours? Well, we're going to find someone who give us a little bit of information about that. Yeah, and we should we should look see... in Fandaline. Yeah. Sildar. That's right. Yeah. Know anything about dragons? I mean, no. Nobody knows anything about dragons. I've heard rumors, but that's about it. What are those you know rumors? Someone that is in the business of the bounty hunters Wait. then in Fentanyl. Sorry. Uh, uh, I, I've never really been to Fendalin. Uh I was just leaving with Jordan. So I don't really know anyone there. So no, I wouldn't I wouldn't happen to know anyone uh that might give out bounties. Of any sort. All right. Okay. Oh, wait. wait. So, just let one step at a time, okay? We got. I come from uh, the sea, so I just at sea we we start with the little things. You start try to, you start to drive the sloop, you know that's the small boat, and then you get to the bigger stuff, okay? The galleon stuff, okay? You start small. We almost got our ass kicked by goblins. We can't go after a motherfucking dragon. No, we not didn't. now. That's what so you said. You start small. We started with, the... with goblins. Yes. Then we proceed yes. to dragons. Let's kill some goblins. So you said it was a fortress. Uh... Well, we can find some uh, jobs in Fendalin from a. Uh... Beast, uh, a little beast. Beast. Let's look uh, if there's a notice board in Fandalin. And then we can a notice board. And when we can uh, go for the dragon. Awesome. The dragon yeah. part, uh, I'm out. But the goblin part, I'm in. Okay. And then I'm going back on the water. I don't. I don't like long walks on Did the beach. Did you say on or under the water? Nah, that, that, no. Nah. <laughs> That's a story for the Kraken, I mean. You muted yourself. Hey, he's eating a cookie. Oh, that wasn't intentional. It would, yeah, it would um, be ASMR. That was kind of weird. 
Yeah, I I I don't really want to, but I would side with uh, Semat on that. Like looking at you guys with my military experience, you're not fit to go and again? trying to. I'm Sildar. Are you rich? No, I'm not. Like I I make ends meet, but I'm 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 not that rich. Remind me, uh, what you're doing here? We just saved him for the freaking cave. Yeah, I know that. What, okay. What are you doing with us? That's what I mean. I mean, you gotta protect you with something. Well, you gotta. We well, need to protect you to now. We're your babysitters now. Is that what we are? Started goblin babysitting, now the dragon. That that's fucking logic. You want my story? Yes. Um, Oh, was, sure, go ahead. Give us the Might story. Well we want it. it. And then, like, Sam, I just, 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 like, is there room, like, to, to, I don't know, lay, lay down? Well, I mean, you're sitting up on a bench. Like, it's, it's a cart with a small bench in the front. There's place for me, uh, well, for Sildar and you. And so, so like, not if, in the if cart, you... like, on top of the, the stuff? Yeah. Yeah, you could, uh, you could um, uh, make, lay make on yourself top of a bed of crates. Device. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Like I'm, right. I'm making a spot on the crates. That that's good. What's what's good about dwarf? I, I'm not shy to say we're small and we fit anywhere. <laughs> so you're just throwing the the, the reins to. Um, to yeah, I, I'll and, guide. I was I'll guide driving. the ox <laughs> since I ride beside them. I'm driving I was that shit. <laughs> I'll, I'll guide it. All right. Um, yeah. So, so Sildar is uh, is all ready for your story. He's ready. Look at him. He, yeah, he made he himself ready. comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm ready. I'm listening. It, it's not it's not a long story anyway. I'm, That's what she said. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm just going uh, to meet one of my friends. Um, What is your Ooh. friend name? It's Yarno. And Yar Yarno uh, what? It's Yarno um Albrecht. With Yarno is fine. <laughs> um and yeah, he... Albrecht you write it with an H or no H? No H. Damn it. Fine. We're both member of the Lord's Alliance, um, and he, we we were going there to help, uh, like colonize the uh, the city and help rebuild the city of Fendelin. And uh, it's been a couple of weeks, and I haven't got any news from him. So I'm just going there to um, to see what happened to him. With uh, my military background, do I know anything about the Lord's Alliance? Uh, make an a story check. I mean, with advantage, um, with quadru quadruple advantage. <laughs> wait, no, wait, wrong one. Eighteen plus. Wait, do I have something for? You said a nanny. What? Nanny. Uh, I have to do. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, history plus one. So I have a 19. I should know something about it. Lord's Alliance. Yay. It says something to me. What does it say? How, how much did you roll? 19. All right. So, yeah, you, you've you heard of it. Uh, the, the, the Lord Alliance is a, it, it's a group of allied po political power. Uh, that are concerned with their own mutual uh, security and prosperity. Um, they, answer, they ensure the, the safety of cities and other settlements by eliminate, eliminating threats uh, by any means. So and, yeah, the Lord, the Lord Lions, it's, uh, it's a group of people that like to control everything for their own interest. And I believe they're, they're, they they kind of have like a little uh, whistle they can do. Then it's like, what? Yep, you do many things. Confirmed. Not... <laughs> 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 
No, but I it mean, does sound like uh, Illuminati is for the Lord's Alliance. Yep. We're just trying to help people. I don't know what you, where you get your information that we're doing that for ourselves, but. But I, I don't understand. You are trying to colonize Fendelin. What happened in Fendelin? Uh, well, F Fendelin was also destroyed by the the war that I talked to you guys about, like when okay. the orcs uh, came and destroyed the way they came. Okay. Like Fendelin was a really prosperous city before when they were making all those mag magical items and weapons and selling all the riches in the way they could cave but now it got destroyed and forgotten and we're trying to rebuild it but i haven't heard from uh yarno um in some time so i i just want to figure out what happened to him Samad right. is sleeping hard, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah, yeah that so, wasn't a joke. <laughs> let's, uh, let's keep anyway. going to Fendelin. Hopefully, we're going to yeah. find a little bit more information. So, yeah, if you guys are, are done with the chatting, we'll, we'll say that you guys arrive in... Hey, Kate! Uh, How are you doing Fendelin down there? At, like, around maybe... 10 p.m. At some point, I wake up like I sleep only for like 30 minutes. Power nap. Just the time when. Just the time just... of this story. Yeah. yeah, basically. Wait, what? Right. Oh, Warren Fundeline. That kind of story would not interest him, man. Nice, Warren Fundeline, folks. In the so... sun like this, also, it's bad for dwarves. Uh, what is the icon? I see. You said the. What did you say, Joe? Sorry, I um I said it was sleeping, and then uh, that story would never interest Semad in any way. It doesn't fit. I see. Question: oh. What is the yeah. black dot we see on the map? It's you guys. No, hey, I, I just didn't yep. want it to drag everyone. Uh, and there's no real, um, um, there, there's no real, um, card or anything for it. Yeah, okay, that's right, good. So, uh, we so should yeah. find some place to what? get rid of all the lion shield, the supplies we have, at least get something in exchange or. We have to get rid of it. At least it's going to free up space in the cart. Is so there a... That's a good idea. Is there somewhere can we can I put trade? my hood and try to hide my face while we enter Fendelin. All right. So you... He, yeah. I, I see him trying to hide his face. What? He's trying yeah. to hide his face? Well, that's... Yeah. Yeah, 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 he 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 put on his hood. All right, I know a bounty when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got sure a bounty. Sure, get into town. I just got unfinished business. Ooh, uh, whoa! That sounds scripted. Do <laughs> <laughs> do you need some help with those? Or this, or him, or her. Oh, is that a woman? If it's a woman, I don't want anything to do <laughs> yeah, with that. Yeah, me too. If it's a woman, no, it, it count me out. I'm a... If you're wanted, though, it's not a woman. I got some friends. Is it a dragon? Friends? We keep talking about <laughs> dragons lately. Is it a dragon? <laughs> nope. Okay, we're good. Are you wanted by a dragon, son? <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> Dragon kind. All right. Before we got into town, if you don't want to share, it's all right. All right. We all got our own stories, but hell, if you put us into trouble, it's going to go bad for everyone. There's going to be trouble. 
You might as well tell us what we need to know before we get into the shithole. And okay. start rumors. Okay, so Sorry. there, there's a band of people which I used to work to for. Damn bards. And uh, I almost got killed by someone that didn't like my face. He just didn't like your face. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I love that guy. Who was that Damn group it. of people? Uh, the red brands. I remember. Do I know that? Do I know that? Do I know that? Does somebody know A that? History check of nine. <laughs> <laughs> I roll like shit. I get all my, my bad rolls out. Can I? Can I? Do I know the the, the red bands? Uh. No one from uh, outside Fandon would uh, really know about these guys. Who are they from? We're from Fandeli. They're from here. So you come in right here. Join the, the guys who tried to kill you. Right so they're here. Yeah. When, are, when were you going to tell us? You fucking goddamn piece of shit. Well, I thought I'd never tell you, but I guess it's out. Well, that took some effort. Yeah. Well, it's Holy good that shit. you let us know. To, to be fair, you it, never it, had... It's just personal revenge, so I didn't start to insult you. Well, with all we've been through since the Goblin Cave and since we left Neverwinter... It's Neverwinter? Um, I mean, you, you, is, you should trust yo. us by now. It's been like two days. We killed some goblin. No? Yeah. That's all. <laughs> two days. We killed okay. a bugbear, man. That's not a regular okay. goblin. It's a freaking bugbear. We shared chicken. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> eat the chicken. <laughs> I don't want to eat the chicken. No, but the, the heads of the goblin we, we shared still chicken. shared it. <laughs> So since you're from, so, yeah, can Fandeli, you at least tell us what they look like so we can avoid them or like beat them or something? They probably have red bands. Yeah, so uh, uh, Kate, you would know that uh, they actually wear scarf that are uh, red or bandanas. Crimson. Well, like they have some form of red to identify themselves. Mainly, like either a cloak, uh, a scarf, or a bandana. Or Oh, they have some okay, red so on them, like a bandana it, it, or a scarf. So, so that's original. So you tell us. It goes okay. with the name. That that you we're not your friends. It's all right. So if you're not, we're not your friends. If they met, if they meet us, we don't know you, and we won't defend you, Un unless you hire our services. Then we can talk. But you're as cool as a fucker on the streets of Waterdeep. So or no you could deal. also We're consider us share. friends, too. Ah, uh, how about a dwarf friend? And Maybe, like, you, you, don't, my, you don't my, have like to... Like my rotten tooth and something like that. <laughs> you don't have to how befriend it, everybody, son? yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah. since you're from uh, Fendelin, it would seem, yeah. I just discovered that. Do you know somewhere we can get rid of all that Lion Shield stuff? I just... I probably uh, know. No, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you kind of know the, the town pretty well. Uh, the only thing is that it's probably going to be closed uh, at that time. Oh, can we find an inn? Wait, what? Yeah. No. Well, no, no. Well. Um, Max, do you share that information with the group? That everything is closed? Well, it would, yeah, during the night, of course. So no, you're yeah. you're all friends. So they don't they know you, but they don't know us, right? So maybe I said maybe they were dealing with some kind of uh, shady of business, sort, right? So, we could sell it to him. 
at a higher price, right? And then try to get some information out of them for you. And okay. then you tell us where you hid the loot. Well, the thing we can do is uh, go to the tower. And in the tower, always we can find information. So there we can find information and from the bounty hunters here and for uh, someone who wants to buy these things. And I was talking to the kid there. The kid must have some information on how could buy this stuff on the night. During the night, well, all the shady stuff happens. You know what I mean? So, DM? Do I know a shady <laughs> place to sell shit? Um, <laughs> not really. Nothing okay. safe. Um, and, like, the, the supply that you guys have, you, uh, you, you know that it would probably be, uh, uh, you would probably get a better price. And if you bring it back to the actual company that it belongs to, and same for the supply that you were supposed to deliver to, uh, um, how is it called again? To the, um, Barton's provision. What, what uh, time is it? The, the, what? What time is it? Uh, I said about 10 p.m. Maybe these guys of the red scarf know something about Jarno, too. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, so I, uh, I'm still very tired. So if we can find it in, I would be very happy. And then you guys can do whatever you want tomorrow and like go around town and ask whoever you want to sell your your thing. Agreed with that. Hey, Let's uh, find an end. Agree. What's the name of the human again? Sorry. Sildor. 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 I interrupted somebody. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, well, I agree with that. We find an inn. We sleep in. And let's deal with all this tomorrow. I mean, I've been driving like two freaking oxen since the freaking cave. So I kind of stink as well. I mean, you wouldn't be able to recognize what is ox, what is me by the smell. I never could. <laughs> <laughs> I would be very surprised that they have bats in the inn in a small town like this, but... You, you know wish. what would surprise me? We going into a town when there's a bad, you know, bad there. Uh, there's bad guys everywhere, but this town is small. And if there's organized people there that does shady stuff with kids like this, right? And the kid, this kid is afraid of them, okay? And he's capable. He, I mean, he killed like what? Two, three goblins. So we, we, we're going in there. And, uh, I mean, uh, it's not because I have high wisdom, but I don't think it's wise. Because uh, chances are the, it's not the militia or the guard, city guard, that's going to help us guide this fucking cart. We're going in full loot. I don't know how much gold there is worth, but... And who's to say that... Uh, Fendel nah, what's your name again? Human. Sildor. So Sildor. Sildor. I need to write this down. <laughs> still, a new ally. Still, still door. Door. All right. So, still door. Who's to say that still door here is not part of these organized crime? Right? Don't trust anyone. So, who's Bobby. gonna guide the cart? Who's gonna protect the cart? While we're in this town, bunch of newcomers. This town, who's not a trading town. Doesn't see new comers often. We're gonna come in during the night with full loot. I mean, somebody's gonna notice and ask questions. And I'm not ready to answer. So does the kid here. So are you suggesting so we, we do sleep out outside of Fendelin and we watch our loot? I'm just exposing facts. In a precise way. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm just maybe, saying, maybe who's going to guide the cart if we go in? Right. How are we going to mitigate that danger? 
guides us. How are we going to answer those questions they're going to ask us? Maybe Sildar we can hide all the loot, you know, hide it in the, make a hole and uh, put it all there. And tomorrow we'll see. I think. Starting to like that elf. <laughs> we should sleep. I think we crossed a little river. We should sleep beside the river so I can take at least wash myself in it at the very least. And we could camp yeah, out. Sort of idea. Fine. I mean, uh, I'm just due to the nature, so for me, it's fine. You you guys can go ahead and sleep outside town, but I'm just going to go to the inn and book a room there. Hey, I got an idea. Slender door. By the way, I'm 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 doing it on uh, voluntarily that that name thing because I don't have a high intelligence and uh, <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> remember. You're, names you're in character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At yeah. some point, you... at some point, I wasn't sure if it was like you couldn't. <laughs> Remember well, I can't oh, remember names, but I can write it down, but he's not going to remember it. <laughs> so don't write Just it down. Just as a sideline. Like, you don't even have to, uh, like, act it out. Just be yourself for that. <laughs> well, it helps me to know still. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. So you, you, uh, it's a lure, a lure. You, can, you can go into town and tell us what's what, right? And come back tomorrow morning. We're gonna be camping out here. We're gonna spot you on the road. We're gonna meet, and you, you're gonna tell us what's the situation into town, and ask about these redneck stuff. I mean, yeah, I can do that. I, I wanted to repay you guys anyway, um, since you escorted me here. Um, uh, that you could mean, be your you mean that's mighty generous of we, you. We didn't just escort you. We saved you from Drow's Goblin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got a point. That's extra. <laughs> no, yeah. We're going to be a good group. Bring treasures. Oh. But yeah, I mean, if the if that's the plan, I can surely do that. Well, so... that, that is the plan. All right. I'll be on my way then. So see you, you see... in the morning. Yes. <laughs> so you By the see... way, if you don't come back, we're going to assume you're dead and we're going to charge your mama. <laughs> All right. I'm never going to tell you the name of my mama, but <laughs> know that. Um, so, yeah. So you see uh, Sildar um, walking down the path, going to the, uh, to the town. What are you guys doing? We go camp out. We're gonna camp, it. camp out so you, like uh, maybe have, have I don't know half a day I don't know how much time. But I mean, like, um, can we hide? Like, can we? Do, do you just go back on the road <laughs> and uh, like move back a couple of miles and camp camp on on the side of the road, or like I mean, carrying the 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 cart in like not road terrain is gonna be tricky. The side of the road is okay. I mean, so just... anything is going to happen. Anything. If we take a... If we make a... How do you call uh, A watch? Yeah, sure. Can we hide... Oh. Well, can, can we just go off the road a little bit? Do we have any cover of close by? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, what's the terrain like? Is there forests, there mountains? Well, at, at this point, it's main, mainly like uh, lands to cultivate because like, it, it's still a farmer town uh, pretty much at this stage. So the, the, uh, at this point, closing by on Fandalin, the, the road is mainly uh, around, like in the middle of fields. So you, you you can like, and like there's some trees and tickets and stuff like that, but um, like uh, you you are you would be able to put the cart uh, off the road, um, but you you're still 
quite a bit in plain sight. I think I see if a ticket. You... Let's go there. <laughs> yep. All right. We so can hide in you there. guys. So yeah, make a perception check. Just to make sure I see the ticket. Huh? Just to make uh, to see if you can find. Um... Twelve. That's good. So yeah, you, you're able to uh, like go back a few a few miles and spot. Uh, uh, I have twenty. Uh, Sorry, I was rolling. I have twenty. All right. Uh, so yeah, you, you spot a, a, a basket of uh, of small trees that can be used so that you're not in plain sight. Um, yeah. So you guys are uh, just like. Park the car, the cart outside the, the road next to the trees. Are you trying to uh, like camouflage the the cart a bit, or you you just? Uh, I take I take a, some uh, some bushes and some uh, uh, branches, little leaves or something, and I try to hide a little bit of the things. Yeah. Or, uh, I, like I tried like to do it the, the best I can as well. So make, both make a either one helping the other or both at the same time a survival check. I got survival. plus three so survival. How much do you have? Survival, survival. Uh, plus four. You do it. Okay. With with advantage. With advantage. Uh, Sam with Samet advantage. is helping you. Put it in a cart with an alpha sign. Kimberly, and I'm doing this. With an I, th alpha I think you should sign. use your, your your die on this one. Look at, look at that, a seven. Uh, no, but seven, I mean, you need, to, you need to roll twice. Exactly, so I'm going to roll again. Rolling, 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 rolling. Ooh. Oh yes, that was you're, so you're... close. <laughs> Twenty-one. Awesome. Alex, so, yeah, you're you... the you're the the second person who does this except me. Rolling? <laughs> what? Yes. Ride him in. Ride him in. Ride him in. Ride. <laughs> ride. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just so happy that someone uh, has that <laughs> reference as. I, I don't get the reference. I don't uh, get the reference. Yeah. Blues Brother. Have you seen Blues Brother? I don't think I have. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to find that. Out. And it comes from 5 all as well. I see. So, yeah, you guys spend uh, like a, a good maybe 30 minutes gathering uh, branches and bushes and uh, all type of uh, uh, leaves. And you feel pretty confident that uh, you... You have hidden the cart pretty well uh, next to the, the, the small basket that you're in. Okay. All right, who gets the first watch? I don't mind uh, taking the first watch. Somebody wants, uh, wants to do it with me? Um, I'm going to wait for further down the night when it's darker. Because I can see in the dark. Well, Sorry, it's, pre it, uh, it's pretty dark at that point. Oh, it's pretty dark. It's the darkest oh. point of the night. How's the moon? It, well, I Do mean, we have it, a moon? Not... Was it a state uh, of the moon? First quarter, second quarter, full moon? <laughs> I, I would say half quarter. Okay. Yeah, there's a moon. There's a moon. It's uh, th like there's some light, but it's uh, not, not that much. Um. But I mean, at, at, it's not the darkest of the night, but uh, uh, it, it's it's at that point it's almost eleven p.m. So um, so yeah, yeah, it's pretty dark. I Already. get the first watch. Still. All right. Um, roll perception. But I'm doing it alone. Come on, guys. You... <laughs> uh, Lazy bastard. Perception. <laughs> perception. Do I have something for perception? Oh, I got a plus zero. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. 
plus zero that adds um, 13 plus zero 13. All right. Um, yeah, I, I want uh, just a side note. Uh, can you guys give me uh, um, oh, shit. passive perception? 15. Um, you want passive perception? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's not for this situation. It's really just because uh, I don't yeah. want to go in the and then I got a 10. Gather it all. Uh, Kate, can you give me yours? The passive? 17. Yeah. 10? No, no, yeah, not 17. a roll. It's a uh, passive. No, the passive perce yep. The perception? Yep. I have passive... Uh, oh, okay, 14. The passive uh, perception. 10, 14? Yeah. Kate? I have 10. How many? 10. 10? We're not the wisest of the group. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. Um, no, I you're have not. 15. Yeah, uh, from you said 10? I have 10. No. 10? Yeah. 10. And Tamara is at 14, you said, right? Yep. Agreed. All right. Did you know mine? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, for you, uh, you stay up for uh, the better of two hours. Um, you uh, you don't notice anything, but nothing happened either on on your watch. So yeah, that's it for. For your uh, your guard, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna go wake up. Um, Kate, Kate, yep. I'm gonna go wake up, Kate, and poke him. Mm, mm. Hey, hey, kid, wake up. Hey. Tu te réveilles oh. avec une coulisse le long de la cuisse. <laughs> he did say he was poking you. Huh? Gross. So Not that kind up, of poking. My... Yep, your turn. My turn. Yep. Tu te réveilles pas. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of role was that? They made you think. What, what role? Hmm? Uh, detection, what kind perception, of... perception. What? I'm pretty sure, <laughs> with disadvantage, because he was sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. D did you roll? Can roll. you roll perception? Roll perception. <laughs> Do you have? Right. I don't know. You have a. You, you don't have any pluses on it. Um, so, uh, you stand watch for about two hours and, um, you are not that, uh, attent like you're not that, um, perceptive and you kind of, uh, like your eyes close a bit. You're still kind of sleepy, but, uh, still, yeah, uh, you're lucky I didn't and think. never happened. Nothing happens in the end. So your watch hand, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna go wake up the mat. So it's probably the dog yes of the night. Yeah, at this point it's uh like <sighs> two two in the morning, two three. I was dreaming. I was with an elf. <sighs> And that's a nightmare. Not sure anymore. I think so. <laughs> All right. So I'm keeping uh, watch. Yes. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. You're uh, as keen as a fox. 
but uh, you, um, yeah, you, you spend your whole watch and <laughs> you, uh, you feel that, that like uh, the job that you did with the card is uh like very good and um at this point uh the, like the the sun starts to uh, raise and nothing happened on your watch either so uh it's my yeah, favorite so part of the day the morning comes what are you doing i'm gonna wake up the elf <laughs> How can I do that? Just with the grass, piece of grass up the nose. What? A piece, <laughs> long piece of grass up, up the nose. Nose, he said nose. What? Nose. Up Wait. the nose. In a nostril. Stop it. Stop it. Come on, I just want to know if you have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, I wake up. Wakey, wakey, sleepy, butty. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep, <laughs> and I'm 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 gonna sleep exactly where she were. <laughs> Again? Well, I, I mean, warming it up. Mm. Smells good still. <laughs> Smell. I mean, uh, like the 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 sun is raising now. Like you, it's, oh, uh, we're it, done. It, it, it's morning. Yeah. Oh. So Réveillez-vous! 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 And I bang uh, stuff. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> All right. So, so we're going our... to play the cell door? <sighs> yeah, we got to find cell door. Ah. So you guys are, are, are just uh, like starting to cook breakfast or something like that? Or are you um, you're just waiting for cell door to come back, right? Sure. It's pretty it, like it's pretty early in in the morning. So, but how about we keep the cart hidden for now? It's so well hidden. I I did a really really good job hiding that. I cart. did. We did. Sorry, can't remember you were there. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's you, have uh, You were chasing a dragon. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I found a nest. There's eggs in it. Let's do eggs. Okay. That's going to smell. You found eggs in in, yeah, in the supply? No, I found a bird nest. Oh. I the eggs. Come on. A small one. Like one. One bite. Sure. Still eggs. All right. So, yeah. So, you wait outside the... Uh, uh, do you, do, like, do you come back closer to the town, or because like you're a few miles out of the town right now? Are you coming back closer, or you're just waiting on Sildar to make the way all the way? Uh, I'm protecting my loot. I'm going to wait at the well. The I'm, road. Going, I'm going right. to go ahead uh, a little closer to the town, and I'm going to see if uh, I can find a uh, Sildar. I'm going to go with Mara on this one. Just because we're so well hidden. Because Semat made an incredible job, obviously. Well, we're going to go see uh, if we can find Sildor and we'll bring him back here. Otherwise, he's never going to find us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um... So we go. So uh, when you kind of close uh, to the town uh, and you, you see Sildar coming uh, your way on the horizon. Hey, I see Sildar coming. He's on the horizon. <laughs> okay. So you guys meet, meet with him? Yeah. Obviously. We right. came I'm going to fix the, um, the kid. Fix. fix. He's low HP? Yeah, I'm I'm watching him. Okay, not fix like so healing. No, you're way. staring gone. You're gonna, like... you're, you're gonna watch. I'm watching you, kid. You Don't you dare take my loot. 
<laughs> All right. Um, hey guys. Hey, you made, it. you made it through the night. It wasn't too bad. No, no, we were super oh, well hidden. Fine. So you're well hidden in those fields. No, we I got a. That. We met a couple of trees and like a small thicket, a few bushes back there. Were like what half? No, maybe more than that. A mile back. I see. So we still need to walk all the way there? Yeah. Oh, man. It's early morning for that kind of walk. You mean it's perfect? It's early morning. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's a perfect time to go for a walk. And there's not yeah. too many people walking around, so it's perfect. Yeah, good thing I had a really good sleep in a bed yesterday night. <laughs> hey, kid. Uh... I was thinking about that. Thinking about yesterday. Don't you think that human dude that sold over there was a bit of a wuss and uh, was complaining a lot? Yes. A yeah, bit. that's what I thought. Just a human. That's what I thought. <laughs> Damn human. All right. You think something's wrong with him? Well, he definitely knows something we don't. He's not telling us. And you, uh, same as you, right? So he's, he's as much as a friend to me as your friend to me. <laughs> we just met. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Happens sometimes. <laughs> So as you guys are talking, um, we're like, we're walking uh, back slowly to uh, to the car. Tam well, Tamara yes, and uh, Sildar and Fern makes their way back to you guys. Hey, look, guys, we found him. Hey. So now we go into the business. Uh, you you found some information for us. I mean, the the. The inn is called Stonehill, and the guy holding it is Toblin. He's a pretty nice guy. But I mean, I just, uh, like, this town was very quiet and pretty dead the time we came in. Uh, the inn was open still, and I was able to get a room, but uh, there wasn't that many people in there. So uh, I, didn't, I didn't get much information. And yeah. then as soon as the morning came, I just came back. So, so right I mean, now we it, have to go back. So, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you guys wanted to know if there there was like a lot, uh, like a clear danger, but I can tell you guys that like there wasn't bandit all around town, like walking in the street. I, they had in. And they're running the town. That's how it works. As the kid there. That's how rednecks operate. Yeah, but I mean, what did you guys want me to find more? Like, I, I, I scouted, and I didn't see much danger from... Any rednecks around? That's what I mean. When he uh, was the mayor, who's running things, how's the security of the, the, the town? There were no guards, that's for sure. Okay, so we're on our own. That's good. We yeah. get hey, we get gang bang. We're on our own. We're on our own. We're in the lawless town here. It's yeah, organized but... crime all over. That's what it means. You're from That's... here. You're from that town, uh, Silly Ladyl. Me? No, I told you guys. That's my first time here. I'm just meeting with my friend. Well, I'm just trying to figure out what happened to him. So you're I'm telling fire. me it was your first time and it was that quick? What? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> you, you really went in and went out uh, really quickly there. Uh, you didn't get yeah, anything yeah, out of it. Yeah. It's... Yeah. So maybe... like, you you find your your friend? Did no. You find your no. friend. Your? No. I didn't get the chance to. Like I said, I I didn't. I, I speak with the bartender. I 
I got my room and I came back. Like I just, uh, I, I was just looking around in town, like uh, on my way back to give you uh, a bit more information on what it looks like. And like there, there isn't bandit all over the place. Like it's not like you're going to enter the town and you're going to be jumped on by bandits. Like, but there's clearly no guards. When and, that tavern you went in, not in. Was there yeah. any uh, shady people? Well, I mean, it's an inn. So, I mean, a lot of shady uh, people. You are Farmers. suggested that we can enter with the with all the loot, and there is not going to be any problem. Yeah, yeah, no. Because if we be lose fun. it, you pay. You're responsible for now for that loot. <laughs> all right, let's go see your. Uh... You said you said the, the innkeep of Stone Hill is Toblin. Let's go see Toblin if he, he knows something. I mean, he's, he's, that he's sounds like innkeep. Goblin. I don't trust him. <laughs> goblin. You don't trust him anyone. Toblin. I don't trust any, especially goblin? rednecks. Toblin. Yep. Let's go into town. Goblin. So hey, Ken, how how many is there in this band? Of yours, how many people? Yeah, do I know? <laughs> um, I, I mean, you, you don't know the exact number, and it, it's changing. It's changing pretty quickly. Um, but you would like it, you are a bunch, like enough to uh, fit uh, a big mansion. Well, we were. A bunch it's changed a lot from times to times people coming in coming out could fit getting killed mansion. getting killed maybe yeah it's not a safe line of work i assume all right so we gotta we gotta convince them that uh we're we're worth something because they they're gonna want to bang us real hard real quick we could get information about someone that is against them too. Sorry, guys. I heard what did that I miss? Only four points. Oh. The kid is talking for some uh, for, for 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 once. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so that's it. Saying? There's a bunch of the red brands and someone against them too. That I heard about called Helia Turnton. Helia Turnton. Yes. So Alia is against the Red Bands. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, good. So she could help. And she's from here? She's in Tendalin, supposedly. And uh, where would we find her? Uh, ask around, I guess. Toblin. No, uh, Toblin's going to know. Certainly, Sir Drilly. Sir, my friend, my good friend, Sir Drillia. You got your mission. You're going to find this girl, Flair. And come, come tell us where she is, and you're gonna tell us where we can find in some place to fucking sell that goddamn loot for once. I mean, I, I'm really happy that you guys saved me and brought me back here, but I have some business of my own. I can't. Hey, be your... you ain't going anywhere until you pay your debt. If you want to know how you pay your debt quickly, that's how you do it. Can I make a persuasion check? Uh, yes. And, uh, yeah. So, play. Down, play. He's trying to get back, get the music back on. Mm-hmm. I did. 
Eight, uh, 18. Um, I mean, like, I, I thought you were gonna ask that, and, um, like I, I said you guys, like, I, I'm gonna repay you, and I can give, like, I, I can probably find, find a, a loan pretty quickly in Fenderlin, and I can give you guys, um, 50 gold pieces. We want to have, yeah. And... Like right now. You have it on you. Well, I don't have it on me right now, but... I mean, if you really want, I can try to ask around for that girl at the same time. Thank you. We will pay you five gold pieces to get that information. Five gold from the gold I'm gonna give you? So exactly. It's just gonna lower the gold you owe us, basically. I mean, that's how math works, I think. It's not like it's not a set price. We never agreed on anything. I'm just telling you, you said guys 50, that I'm giving you five gold back to get that information. Oh man, ghost dwarf. All right, have it your way. I'm gonna go back and figure that out. Look around. You guys hang tight here in the bushes. Do, uh, do you need some uh, some help with that? I can go with you. I gotta stretch my legs at some point. Yeah. I'm going with you too. <laughs> I want to know the... So, uh, the short ones. Short one, you too. You, Samath, Cade, stay with the card. That's racist. That's no, crazy. it's not. it's not racist. You guys are small. I mean, I'm just stating facts. You guys are shorter than us. So yeah, we're gonna go get the the information needed, and we'll be back before lunch. So the tall the tall ones come with me, and the small ones stay at the car. <laughs> if it's a mile, it's like what twenty minutes walk. Yeah, kind of. Why is that there at all? What? That Take music. no music in uh, <sighs> Dungeons and, and Dragons. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't click watch stream again, so I'm not even here. Um, I'm telling you, I'm going to go to Fundalin. Are we going to be back before lunch? Yeah. You said you um, would be. We're going to bring back lunch, boys. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, we make so we make our way to Fandolin. so uh like a as we reach the outskirt of the town um so what you can see is uh the so like the the, tr the track emerge from a wooded hillside and you catch your first glimpse first glimpse of Fandolin. the town consists of 40 to 50 simple log buildings, some built on old fillstone foundations. More old ruins, uh, crumbling stone walls covered in ivy and briars surround the newer houses and shops, showing how this must have uh, been a much larger town in centuries past. Most of the newer buildings are set on uh, the side of the cart track which widens into a muddy main street of sorts as it's, it climbs toward a ruined manor house on the hillside uh, at the east side of town. As you approach, you see children playing on the town green and town folks uh, tending to the chores or running errands at the shops. Many people look up as you approach but all return to their business as you go by. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, so that's the town. So as you walk uh, by, um, like uh, on on your right, uh, you can see uh, so like the building, the the 
red one, uh, there's a, a sign written uh, Barton's Provisions. Um, I entered the, there. I, uh, in the first right. moment I see it, I, I said like, hey, I have to buy some things. And I oh, wait, wait. To... Did you say Barton's? Yes. Don't we have like a shipment for Barton's? Yeah. So we, yeah, we all go there, basically. We do. Hey, look, we have stuff for you. We go inside. Yeah, true. You guys were hired by a garden. Your task was to uh, bring the supplies to this guy. So yeah, it's right here at the edge of the town. Well, right now it's half our, of all the supplies that you guys have, but I mean, uh, yeah, you don't have to go far. Greeting, shopkeeper. Is it so you there? guys and you guys enter? Yeah, we enter. Yeah. Sorry, was I in character? I was talking to. Uh, you're muted, by the way. Hello. Yeah, no, because I'm not there. No, I was not hearing at least anyone, but it's fine. Well, yeah. Everyone's back. Hello. Kitty, No. Yeah, I listen to you. Nobody. Okay, good. No, you you just said something. You guys don't hear me. No, I do. I don't, everyone's fine. You gotta speak yep. up sometimes. Are you talking to me? No. I was talking oh. to DM. Uh. I was not hearing him at all. <laughs> no, but. Because he's, he's just drunk. I don't know. I'm hmm. not drunk. Is there old Can you guys tea? hear me now or not? Can you hear yes. me now? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah, as you enter, uh, as you enter the shop, um, there's a. Uh, so there's a, a balding a human that is facing uh, away from you guys in his fifty, um, and he just responds, uh, "I've already paid my taxes for this week," and as he turns and look at you guys, he says, "Oh." You're not from the Red Brands, are you guys? Nope. No, we, I don't. No. I knew it. That's I good. Knew. What? He's not there. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I mean, the. <they're... laughs> um. Oh, that's good. Actual customers. Mm, what? What can I do for you guys? Well, how can I help you? Well, we actually—I've we... never seen you guys. No, we're we're well. We we just came in this morning actually, but uh, we do have probably provisions for you. We came from uh, Neverwinter, and we were hired by one of the Rock Seeker brothers. Oh, and... you're the the one that Garden sent. Yeah, you're supposed to bring supplies for his. Uh... Is is thing that he's doing? Well, yeah, we do. We do have the supplies. Well, not oh, th that's good. On us, like, but at, we at... have it in our cart. Oh, all right. No, that's great. Like uh, at this point, I thought it would never uh, arrive. But uh, if you guys have it, then uh, that's awesome. Where's Gurdon? It was supposed to uh, arrive a long time ago. Uh, good question, actually. We don't know where Gurdon is either, because he left uh, Stop, Neverwinter. Something winter. happened to him? Yeah, something happened to him. He left win Neverwinter before us, and he got ambushed by goblins, and we tried to track him down. We cleared, like, a cave full of goblins, and there's still no trace of Gurdon. Oh, that's... Uh, we, we might have that's... a clue where he is, but... It's a long shot. We don't know yet. That's really unfortunate. Well, I was really getting excited about like what the guy looking into and what they're uh, trying to find. But uh, yeah, I mean, the the two other brothers are supposed to uh, come back uh, soon to get the supplies. 
Um, they should have come by now, but uh, right now they're supposed to camp somewhere outside outside town. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, maybe you guys can wait for them or try to go uh, find them. But uh, yeah, it would be very nice to also uh, rescue Garden. He's kind of, he kind of became my friend after uh, like trades that we've been doing. And um, where did you say the two other brothers are? Do you know? Do you have a like a little idea where they could be? Um, I mean, they're they they are supposed to be camping outside town. Um, I think. You got one new quest. <laughs> mm. Which one is the new quest? Finding the two other brothers. I know yet. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I, I don't really know where they are. There's just like that's that's the point of their whole operation. Like they're being really secretive about like. Um, what they are trying to find. When when are so, they supposed to come back, or were they supposed to come back? Yeah, um, right now. Mm, should be any day now. Like it's been a ten day since they last came here, and like. They need supplies, so at some point, like it should be any day, hopefully. But now that you're talking about Garden, that something happened to him, I'm wondering if it's because of what they know, and I'm starting to be concerned about the other brothers. Anyway, do you know something you guys... about what they know? Well, I mean. Uh, they haven't you have you have you guys ever heard about the lost mine of Fandalin? No. No. What have we? Question? Have we? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, it's the, that's the 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 story that uh, Sildar yeah. told you guys. Okay. It's yeah, the man the, who was uh, like uh, the, the last mine of Fendelin. Uh, is it like the... the same one as the Wave Echo Cave? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah, okay. they are looking for it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've heard I, about I, it. I get... Good. Okay, so uh, if we drop the supplies, can you make sure if you see the other two brothers that they get it? Well, I mean, that's the point. Okay, good. Well, we'll deliver them this afternoon. Do you have uh, anything else to sell? Or do you well, know uh, any kind of association of Lion Shield? Somebody has, like... Is there a Lion Shield in town, or...? Yeah, yeah, the Lion, Sh Lion Shield coaster. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's in town. Like, if you continue on the road, uh, the biggest building at the end of the road is uh, is the Lion Shield Coaster. Okay, um, perfect. Yeah, it's Alia Thornton that owes, uh, owes there. Uh, they have different kind of supply than I do. Like, uh, it's uh, she. Oops. Oh no. Wait. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, uh, no, I, I'm mixing uh, the the Lion Shield and the Miner's Exchange. Um, so the Lion Shield is, uh, yeah, it, it's a woman. Uh, she's really cute. Uh, she, her name is Lionie, and um, they they sell different uh, kind of goods that I sell here. Um, what but, what kind uh, of goods are we talking about? I mean, uh, like. If you're looking for like weapons and uh, armors and stuff like that, I don't have it here. 
I mean the old like uh, like adventuring supplies and uh, stuff for farmers and tools. Um, but yeah, if you, you can get uh, the favor of uh, Leonie, uh, you, you might be able to get her to sell you some uh, weapons or armor. Perfect. I might have like the perfect idea how to win her favor. Okay. Well. All right. Like I'm okay. here. Uh, I'm here. Uh, I'm going to buy uh, some things uh, to you. So uh, right. some uh, open shop. rations. <laughs> exactly. Do you have so, hay? Like a good quality hay. We have two oxen that really need like a treat. Uh, yeah. I, I... So. So I want Ooh, to write. Hey, listen. Excuse me. I not Hey. Hey. So, uh, so I'm going to buy some uh, rations for, uh, I mean, two, three days. Hey, what? Rations? Yeah. Food. Like, uh, we said we were going to bring lunch. Come on, man. Do you have That's whiskey? Uh, Do you sell whiskey? What? That costs five gold. Oh, wow. Nope. Going to buy rations for two days. Just two days. That's it. You fed for for a day. It's kind of like choppy. I have a hard time hearing you guys. I don't know if it's just me or if it's everyone, but uh, it's kind of like cutting on and off. I hear everyone fine. You were cutting just before. Front. I hear you well. So yeah, your your camera is lagging a bit. Good. I blame the device. Internet. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should. Um, so you want to buy some ration? Yeah. Two. I uh, know one. Question. One because I don't have uh, enough uh, gold. So. Question. Question. Because right, we so, um, are we supposed to manage our ration? Because I have rations on me. I have nine. You have nine? Wow. Right. Yeah, I have I don't nine have any. It's part of the adventuring right. gear. You need you need to eat. So yeah, I'm going to buy one rations and then I'm going to hunt something. So I have eight right. rations. So no. one, all right. Um, that that would that would be five silver pieces for that ration. Okay. If you would. So take the five. Four. And uh, for the hay sack, uh, that would uh, that would be um, another five silver pieces. For what? For, for the my hay sack. sack, I'll take uh, for... uh, two rations as well. Wait, no. Three. I'm bringing lunch. Do you have any uh, sort of uh, alcohol too? Um, I mean, you would be better off going to the inn for that. Uh, I don't really stock on any um, uh, like alcohol here. So it's uh, five silver for the hay sack and the five haystack. silver for each ration. Well, that's twenty. Twenty it is. Twenty silver. All right, thank you very much. There we go. Uh, well, uh, so we're gonna be back this afternoon with uh, the supplies from uh, that, that we were great. supposed to deliver, and uh, well, probably gonna come back uh, again eventually. Good day, sir. Thank you very much for your business. And yeah, I'm looking forward for those supply. Hopefully the brothers are going to come back for it, though. Hopefully. See ya. 
So, uh, I suggest we head back. I think we have uh, enough information. We have the Lion Chain Coaster. Uh, we know where she is. Lioni. Lioni. A pretty lady. That's going to be able to help us. And we know where to drop the supplies. So, we're going to be able to empty our cart. And I got lunch. Let's go. All right. So uh, you guys Sildor, your way Sildor, back. Uh, what you doing? What do you want to do? You want to go? Uh, I mean, probably look uh, for a loan for to compensate us. I do. And we're gonna meet back in town uh, this afternoon. Let's say we meet back around. Yeah. Well, I mean, sunset at the Hin for a beer. Or something stronger if that you're into that. That sounds awesome. Perfect. That sounds awesome to it's, me. It's a date. Yeah. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> but see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> see you at sunset. Okay. Hey, hey, kids! You into women? We walk back and. <laughs> sure, I am. Awesome. We won't have a problem. No, we won't. Unless we fight for the same woman. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Unless you like beard on women. No. You like chest hair on women? No. We <laughs> won't have a problem. That's good. <laughs> You have weird days. Sorry? You have weird mm. days? No. Oh. Well, you have weird friends. Oh, wait. Oh. You don't have friends. <laughs> I got you back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright, so you. Uh, the, the small uh, weird company may get back uh, to the cart. There they come. Took you some time. Good food. Yeah. And uh, you you notice uh, right away that so. You're cutting. Last two. I, I said you you notice right away that Sildar is not with them. Hey guys, we're back. We don't have Sildar anymore. Where's my, where's my gold? Well, actually, we made... Um, uh, no, no, we didn't make a deal, but we're going to meet him at sunset at the inn for beer, and he's going to have our stuff, so... But on the he other... Be there. On the other end, uh, like, the literally almost the first building when you get in town, it's uh, the Barton Provision. You know, What's you know, the Barton... second building? I don't know. We didn't reach the second building. But uh, the Barton provision, it's uh, it's what we came to Fandalin, basically. We were hired to escort, okay. to, to, to carry, okay. to bring. Anyway, uh, you found the guy. You yeah, we found, found the, the guy. Motherfucker. Okay. And we can drop the provision there. Uh, on the other uh, other part of all the boxes we have in the cart, we also know where the Lion Shield coasters are. In Fendelin. Uh, a pretty lady named Lioni. And oh, uh, the, the, woman, uh... the, the guy from Barton's, he said that if we win her favor, she's gonna sell us armor and weapons. If we win her favor? Yeah, I mean, we have like a cart full of her supplies. I don't know how we're not gonna get something in exchange with that so let me get this clear she sells stuff but you need to convince her to sell stuff maybe she sells only the good stuff can't wait to bargain with her i sure She's you're gonna, gonna have a blast easy. yeah anyways uh hey I, uh... I told bartons we're gonna be back in the afternoon and we have a meeting with uh, 
Zildar at sunset in the end. I, uh, Kaldar, Kal Kaldar, you were into women. Who? You. <laughs> I'm Fern. <laughs> Fern. Fern. Y you, you're into women. Obviously. I like him tall and meat them than bones so I can grab uh, it. <laughs> and I'm looking at the elf watch. He, he says that. <laughs> <laughs> With this Tamara that I do. <laughs> like, like... She's listening. Like, <laughs> hey, 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 Tardara. <laughs> you into women? <laughs> Maybe. Uh... <laughs> okay. Let's go sell that stuff. Uh, by I'm the way, hungry. you got I, food? Yeah, I brought lunch. Yeah. I I bought your guys rations. I gave oh, uh, I gave ration God. to Cade and uh, Samat. I won't have to use mine. <laughs> 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 so right. I removed two. Uh, three so, for mine. There we go. For the day. So you guys are Thank making you. your way back with the cart in town. Yep. All right. So, um, when are you I guys? I put my OG and hide my face. Good. There we go again. Oh, that uh, that might be a good idea. Because he's got uh, I say I I left them in the. Um, in the store and i'm going to straight to the inn to search uh, information about uh some uh a bounty for uh, a hunter like uh going to search something to hunt <laughs> um, so, you know like i need money so uh, uh so i'm going to so search you're, you're, uh, sp you're splitting out of the group uh again or yeah just for for this moment while while uh there are uh, uh, giving all the stuff to the, Say it in to the guy. So I'm going to to the inn Sorry. for search information. Hey Tamara, where are you going? The, the profession is here. Yeah, but uh, I need money, and the only thing I can do is hunt. So I'm going to find some job. You're right. You're broke. Go ahead. We'll meet back. Uh, if you're done, we're going to be wait, at the wait. Lion Shield coaster, or we're going to be at the inn after. Um, just uh, when um, you finish uh, that, uh, just go and uh, go to the inn, and we're going to see there. And when we're going together to the lion shell, fine, sure, okay, greed, okay, go have fun at the but, inn uh, while hey, we do, wait, do the business. We need this lion shield gal because she knows stuff about the rednecks, right. Well, actually, I would say the Bartons know something also probably about the, the the red bands. Because when we came in, the shopkeeper earlier, he said, Oh no, I, I've already paid my taxes. And he thought we were red bands, so he knows something. Okay. But we should get rid of the, I, I got, the, the, I got the provision the, the before. an important question, though. Why do we give a fuck about the rednecks? We came here to sell the stuff, sell the stuff, gonna grab a beer, gonna grab the gold, and we gotta kill some goblins or whatnot. Because that's what heroes do. Well, I understood it was a, it was a, there was the thing, you know, that that village. I mean, it's pretty cute, but uh, and, uh, unless they're grogs, really. Really fucking good. Why do I care about rednecks? What is the rednecks in this town? A what? A church? Do, yeah, uh, Kevin. Yeah. Is there a like? Did I see like a church or a temple or? Or there's an um, old monastery there? No. Well, you're still in uh, uh like pretty much uh, the front of the town. Like you, you just stop the cart in uh, at the first building again to bar uh, barter's uh, provision. Um, so from where you are, you don't see 
Uh, I mean, you see the next building, it's, it looks to be a, a smith. Um, but from your point, you don't see uh, you don't see uh, um, any temple or anything that would look like it. And where is the inn? It's the largest building in the middle. Oh, well, you, you don't know. You would have to search for it. Oh, okay. So, okay. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying, uh, Alex? About the inn? No, or... um... Thorn was saying something. Uh, uh, yeah, we should get rid of the uh, provision before we ask him any question about the red band, so he, he doesn't get cold on us. So I'm gonna go in since I'm uh, friendly faces. Cade, do you have red on you? No. Okay, good. So yep, I'm gonna go into the shop, and I'll bring the provision at the same time. I'm going into the shop. And I'm going to bring the provision at the same time, DM. And we came back with the loot, by the way. Yeah, we did. With the cart. Yeah, we did. Yeah. But we sell the stuff. It's, uh, like... <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, I, I'm losing a bit what you're saying. Can you hear me now? Is it the same... Yes. <laughs> Max, are you trying to say something? No, I wasn't, uh, but we lose you sometime. You being me? Just me? I think yes. Okay. Just me or Alex? Freeze. No, just you, Kevin. Oh, just, yeah. just you, Kevin. Good. Um, Good. I, I, I'm going to say it again. I blame the device. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll try to figure something out for next one. Um, yeah, sorry. So now it's back. So you're, you're going in with the supplies. Can I make one trip with the supplies? How many supplies are we talking about? I got big arms. Well, I mean, um, two boxes. Like nice. the the cart wasn't like the cart wasn't really uh, filled up uh, totally, but like three quarter quarter maybe. So uh, with the line and chill stuff, you had to pile them up. So like, there, there's quite a few uh, provision to bring. You have okay. to like, but um, so uh, you all. Uh, Afternoon. We're offloading them. Hmm? What? Uh, we're offloading the the stuff. What's happening there? We, we have provision them. for Barton. In the car. Yes. The thing so we were hired for by the yeah, rock seeker. So we're, you're offloading them. I'm offloading that part, yeah. Everything so from I, the, when the I, line shield. When I is... see you trying to offload them, I say, hey, hey, that's not how it works. Hey, Bolton, come here. Yeah, are you inside the shop? I'm gonna inside. I'm going inside the shop. I'm guessing we're in front of the shop, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm saying, why, Bolton, come here. So, Barton makes his way outside. Yeah. Hey, that's your stuff. Want us to offload it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I have my two sons. They can offload offload it for you guys. Um, yeah, thank you. I, I wasn't expecting you guys so soon. You you said like at the end of the afternoon, but yeah, that, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Usually we yeah. charge extra for the for the you know doing it faster, but now it's okay. So we just are gonna take our gold and it's okay. My name's Samat. Nice to meet you, uh, Master Dwarf. No, I'm just Samat. Nice to meet you, uh, Samat. Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. Um, so he he just like uh, go back inside the um, uh, the uh, the shop and what's the name of the two guys? And and he uh, flip his finger at, uh, and you can hear him say, uh, "Ender, uh, Tristel, uh, there's some provision that we need to offload and put put back into the shop." Um, so you, you see two young men start to uh, offload the the cart, um, and he also comes back with uh, fifty gold. So, and he comes back and say. Uh, 
yeah, I think we agreed with Gordon on uh, uh, 10 gold pieces for each person that was car carrying the cart, but it's only four of you guys. Um, but uh, he, he was talking about five. Did something happen? Um, well, how can I... Nothing bad happened, but we had an elf with us, and she kind of burned half of a freaking forest. She had a nervous breakdown when we kind we never saw her after this. She just bailed. She, yeah, she never came that. back. Yeah. That's why now we're, well, technically we're, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, <laughs> that's a lose lose situation. <laughs> what is that? Hold on. Wait, where was I going? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> we, we lost a couple old party members, but basically, we, we have also the other elf I was with earlier. She went to the nope, straight. She's so. gone too. Well, <laughs> no, he says that, but she, she's still there. But she, she's not gone for long. She's she, gonna capture some rabbits. <laughs> for money. <laughs> Yep, that's what happened. That's why we are only four now. Yeah, I see. That's why a, do you care? That's a weird story. Well, I mean, uh, I was supposed to pay ten gold piece per person, and well, at we first gotta it was take five. A share. That's but now it. You're four. Look, fifty gold pieces, or you don't get your stuff. That was the deal. Uh, uh sorry, I forgot. Uh. We're also with a human. His name is uh, Sildar. Yeah, he's he's our fifth member. So that's why we, we, two of us are not here. That's why we're we're, we're five in total. We have oh, Sildar. Yeah. yeah, we we have a human. Yeah, yeah. we got uh, brave guy. Yeah. He's like bulky and I can't hear you. Did he say something? No, he, you no. guys. Anyway, <laughs> the fifty uh, repeat, gold was repeat, the, to rewind, cover rewind, the, the supply. It was never associated to any number of people. He's gone. <laughs> rewind, Kevin. On a <laughs> yeah, rien entendu. <laughs> We're gonna miss the the first part of the story. He's gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gone. Close his eyes <laughs> and that's it. Gone, baby, gone. He gone to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's happy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a nice voice. It, it could have been worse than that. I bet he's having a wet dream. <laughs> Our DM is missing in action. He might come back. Right, that, now, now, now's the time to add stuff to your uh, character sheet and say <laughs> it, uh, it was always there. In the... <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it, no, no! It's Kevin the Gray. Is it gray or is it green? No, it's gray. It's gray. Well, I'm gonna. That's pull. Halifax, man. Never should have gone there. Mm. Bad internet. <laughs> Oh, wait. Uh, no, the the app crashed. Oh, okay. Can't see your your face. Yeah. And don't forget to watch the stream for the music. Are, are your eyes still shut? I don't know. His eyes is open. Nice. <clears throat> did, did you guys hear what I said? The app crashed. Uh, not at all. Yeah. But every, anything crashed. before that, but, not really. Yeah. Not the, right. not the NPC. Yep. All what right, did Barton so, had to say? Yeah, he was just gonna. He was just saying. Uh, yeah, the fifty gold was uh, for the supplies. Actually, it was never tied to any number of people. I'm messing with you guys. Here, are your fifty gold. Yeah, it's just a piece of advice. When you see a, a huge dude like this, don't don't mess around with the gold. All right, it's it's a bad habit, especially if there's a dwarf. 
Um, I mean, I'm saying just as a free advice, not, it's not really a good practice, you know? Well, I mean, it really depends on the customer, but I'll remember to not do it to a dwarf. That's yeah, what I guess you don't get many customers around here, huh? Well, yeah, if it wasn't for those red brands, maybe I would have more. You get the uh, visits from those rednecks? Red, yeah, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they, they're they pretty much like putting a toll on all the shopkeepers in the town and yeah. putting like everyone to their own like goals. I mean, we don't have any guards, so if they have some manpower, they will. So I just try to not mess with them and pay what they ask for. You said manpower. How much manpower would you say they well, have? Well, I mean, I don't keep count, but they have enough to be a new reason since in the town and keep control. So, uh, you know what I learned at sea? When there's, there was these big ships that needed to be sunk, gunpowder barrels. Um, I don't think I'm following your your thoughts. I'm just saying. Do you, you have you, some. If I have gunpowder. <laughs> yeah. N no, not not not. No, not in my supplies. Fucking use this little piece of shit down the motherfucker, and I'm just walking away. <laughs> you, you have to forgive him. He's... I, I would yeah, lie no. if I was gonna say he's not usually like that. No, he's he's basically always like that. But no, I get it. Uh, it's not the first dwarf I meet. Uh, is there someone right. we can talk to about those red red bands? Like, is there someone in charge of pest control, or not really? Well, there's the town, the the the, the there's the town master, but I mean, he's pretty much saying that the red brands are not causing trouble because he's afraid of them. Um, so I, I'm I'm I, I I'm not sure what you mean by that like what's what's your goal here just getting information nothing specific i just i'm curious by nature nice. big guy big curiosity that's that's good that's i i think all right do you know anyone named by uh alia who Alia Turlton. Mm, you mean the the heads of the head of the miners' exchange? I mean, it's a pretty small town. We we pretty much know everyone, but yeah, Miss Turlton. She's in uh, the miners' ex exchange. That's where, um, like, the, finally in town, there's not much much to do. Like. Uh, you're either a farmer or you're a prospector. And that's the place that people go uh, to sell what they find. Get supplies to go uh, prospect and yeah. Where can she be yeah, found? I, Where's the sorry. miners exchange headquarters? <laughs> I, 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 Shop. I don't know if you can call it headquarters. It's just an exchange, but um, it's far. Uh, to the south of the, the town. It's almost one of the saddest, more most building in town. All right. Well, yeah. that would be all. Shopkeeper. All right. Thank you. I Thank you for gold. your time and for your gold. My... <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for the supplies. I think my boys are done uploading. 
I see you have some more supplies in there uh, from their lion shield. And then you come across those. Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, I've told you earlier today that we went into a goblin cave to search for Gurdon. Yeah. That's basically Gurdon. where we found it. Oh. So that's I why see. we're, we're going to go see uh, Lyonie. Lyonie. Yeah. Yeah, she's probably going to be thrilled to see uh, th that those supplies. They were probably like stolen by some raiding party or something. Yeah, it makes sense. Great. Off yep. your way then. See ya. Uh, yeah. so I'm coming out the shop. All right. Uh, we're going to go to Tamara. Uh, while yeah. like <laughs> while <laughs> this is happening, uh, you're making your way down uh, down the street. Um, so yeah, like I said, you see uh, you you uh, right after Barton, you see. Uh, I'm the, heading the, for the, the tavern. All right. By the way, yeah. when, when I ran, when I walked off, I was heading for the tavern. Forgot okay. to mention. He needs a grog. But, yeah. So, um, uh, but like, you, you don't have to walk uh, super far. Um, when you reach uh, this point, you see on your uh, on your left the Stone Hill. Stone Inn, yes, Stone Hill. It's the, the inn. Stone Hill. Stone Hill Inn. Stone Hill. Okay. Um, so you go in. Yeah, I go in and. Um... And I, I, uh, it, I mean, I suppose the owner is uh, attending the day in, so I'm going in and I'm going to uh, ask I'm for going uh, in. <laughs> trouble in. All right. Yes. So yeah. Uh, so um, so when you enter, you see uh, the 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 common room is filled with locals nursing like. Uh, mug of ale and uh, cider and all of them are eyeing you with curiosity so there there's quite a few people like at, at the end it's the only place that you can actually like uh, get food and uh, ale in the uh, in the town so it, it's pretty packed at uh, even at this hour because like uh, uh, now we're reaching maybe late afternoon uh, so people are finishing work and going to the inn um so yeah it's an elf. so Look, it's an elf. uh you you make your way to to the bar um and yeah there uh there's this, a, a young man um that is uh, uh greeting you um hey there a new customer that's great hey Where are you from um from i'm telling you from here don't worry about it um right, we don't get a lot of new faces around here so it's great to see a new customer coming in i noticed that are uh, you looking for a room we have plenty of rooms well i mean uh, plenty we have six <laughs> but anyway uh they're uh, all free except for one uh that that old guy that came in another new faces um and yeah he took your room but uh all the other ones are available if you want one. Are you looking for ale? We have good ale. Uh, no, thank you. I give him a piece of gold and uh, I don't know if uh, that costs a beer. <laughs> and I say to him like, hey, you could give me a beer? Yeah, um, I think you do, do you have is... a piece of gold? Ale is... A mug is uh, four copper pieces for, for just copper? One, one mug of ale. It's three copper. Not too bad, not too bad. So uh, a, a gold would give you a lot of ale. <laughs> <laughs> and for me. Well, well, I'm going to give the, the gold and I'm going to say, like, give me a, a beer and uh, some information. And I show the piece of gold. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that that's that's quite a lot of uh, money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I know everything in town, 
what kind of information do you, are you looking for? Do you want to know where I'm from, where uh, what I do here? Like, what what are you looking for? Uh, no, I mean, I'm searching for first. I'm searching for information uh, if uh, here in town there is something to hunt, and there is uh, some bounty hunters that I can know for uh, uh, maybe have a reward for the things I hunt. Interesting. Um, yeah, you're kind of looking for a job. Yeah. It's mostly here uh, around town. People like try to do like some farming, uh, build their own house, like get some fields, or they they go around in the mountains and try to like find some gold and uh, do some prospecting. Uh, I mean, in the term of more mercenary work i guess you could try and go to the um uh the town like the town master all that's where uh the that's where the town master is and maybe he has some things he needs to have taken care of that would be a start Okay, okay, it's fine. So, um, there is some people here we see when we enter. Uh, there is causing a lot of trouble. A uh, band of uh, red bands or something. Do you oh. know something about them? Yeah, yeah, you don't want to mess with those guys. Why? Like, looking at your figure, I don't think you would um, last long, especially for newcomers they don't really like newcomers all that much i it, would try i would i would stay out of their way if i were you um and in that regards uh stay away from the um what is it called again <laughs> sorry guys um the sleeping giants the sleeping so, giants yeah, they they usually um, like gather around uh, that place. It, they don't have good ale, but yeah, I would stay away from that place if I were you. But yeah, no, um, they're causing cr- trouble all around town, and yeah, I I, I really don't see wh- why you would be <laughs> going and trying to seek. Those guys, yeah. Wow. Unless you're, unless you're, not to be trusted. Hmm. No, I mean, I don't know. These guys, they're causing a little trouble here, and um, we don't want to bother them. But maybe we want information because we want to know. Me and my friends. Well, my friends. They they are not here, but uh, we want to really know what happened here, and uh, just for information. So oh, you you're not alone. What? You you're not alone. Ah uh, no 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 no! I came here. Can I can I come in at this right moment? Yeah, <laughs> let's let's say you you come in at that moment. <laughs> I opened the door. Hey, there you are. Let's uh, in there drinking uh, before me. Oh, I'll take that as an answer. I'm going to take twice what she had and I'm going to drink it twice as fast. Hey, Semad, here, here's my friend, you know. Uh, we are talking about you right now. You're talking about rabbits? <laughs> yeah. And pirates, Rabbit. too. So um, you you seem like a lively dwarf. Say thirsty. Like, ter- yeah, yeah. I I mean I have plenty of ale. Uh, I'll be uh, I, right away. Like um, and he, he claps his finger to uh, uh, another clerk that is behind the bar to fetch you two beers. Yeah, I'm I'm looking. I look at how he snapped his fingers. I'm like, 
Interesting. I look at the tomorrow. I'm like, that doesn't work for me. I mean, you don't know how to clap your finger. I mean, I can teach you if you want. No, oh, you clap. You. Never mind. It's just something you made him do. And I clap and uh, obey. So he wants to do the same thing with me, like. <laughs> You snapped your fingers and he was gone. I was hoping, you know, it's free to try. Oh, that's not going to happen. So, how many of you guys are there? Like, are you guys looking for rooms? We don't see a lot of new faces. Usually. Oh, well. well, we... Uh... <laughs> Well, maybe we want to some uh, rooms for four people. So uh, if you if, if we can uh, reserve it for for rooms. Yeah, of course. Like uh, a room is of uh, uh, is one silver pieces a night. So for four people, it would be four silver pieces. And yeah, we can arrange that. Do you want a, a, a room for each? Okay, uh, my friend here, uh, Simad, is going to pay for, for, for all of us. That is great. <laughs> what? You know what? We're five people. Oh, okay, but... Let, uh, let's say, uh, let's say four silver for five people. Five rooms. You're, you're five? Yep. Um. All, 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 all right. Yeah, we we can arrange arrange that. Yeah, that, cool. that should work. Awesome. Yeah. I, I, now, I, I, we one thing. Close. Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Okay, okay. When a dwarf's negotiating, you shut the fuck up. Oh man. <laughs> now, we were saying, okay. If someone asks you, what's your price for a room? And it's a human. He's young, looks tired. You say two silver per room. Now we got a deal. Um, you, 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 you want me to raise my price for the next human that come here? Yeah, don't worry about it. He's going to have his room. He's going to buy it. You don't worry about it, okay? All, all right. Yes, if I'm here and I ask you what's the price of your room, you say two silver, and we got a deal for four silver, five rooms. It's okay. It's all right. Everybody's happy. I'm I mean, paying in advance. You're not human. What does it look like? <laughs> you look like a dwarf. I'm just saying, when I ask you... You tell me it's two silver per room per night. Is that too much to ask? No, I, I can All I right. can make do. Alright, now I'm paying you four silver for five rooms. But I'm gonna ask you tonight, what's the price of your room? You're gonna say as loud as you can it's two silver a night. I mean with uh the five rooms that you're booking and the uh, the the nice uh, old man that came yesterday. Uh, all the rooms are booked, so I can't really sell any others. The old man. Yeah, is I think um I don't remember. I think I catched his name. It's Sildar. Came in last night. An old man. Yeah. All right. Well, he's not that old. Uh, but he's not young, certainly. He already has a room. For well, yeah. Two nights. Well, I mean, he, he booked for as long as he can find something here. I think he wants to, like, stay here for quite some time. And you you got four of the rooms for us. Is that right? I have six rooms, but you you asked for five. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, that uh, Sidral guy is uh, our, fri er, our fifth, so... Oh, he's with you guys. Where, yeah. Where were you guys yesterday? Is that your business? Where were no, you guys today? Is. Tell me about your day, your whole day in details, including those uh, rednecks, dude. I mean, I serve You like that? Here. Being asked questions that doesn't concern me? I you mean, can keep going if you need to. I I used to be a, a prospector, but I, uh, I wasn't too good at it, and I opened this inn. I love answering questions and like talking with everyone. And you hear in the back someone shout, "But your I, your egg sucks." <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't talk too much. <laughs> You're giving me those I, eggs. Is the beer good? Yeah, the beer, the, the beer, like it's not the best that you have, but uh, for a small town like this, it's 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 enjoyable. Well, your beer tastes like piss. So three silvers for rooms. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, make a persuasion check, <laughs> or I mean, <laughs> this. Yeah, I don't even know. Are you lying? Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> no, no, really? it's just persuasion. It's no, but I mean, you, you said your beer tastes like piss. Are you lying? Or you're, uh... Well, I don't care if he believes me or not. It's just, it's just... No, but I mean, if you're lying, it's uh, deception. Uh... Well, uh, it's more like I want to bargain with him. The, the, the beer that tastes like piss was just a joke. Yeah, but it's kind of your argument. So... Persuasion. But Persuasion. even if he believes me that I don't like his beer... Oh, okay. I, I know. No, it's, well, just, I wrote the... it, it, it's just to know okay. which skills to use. It's, it doesn't really matter what happened. Uh, I got a... If, it, if it's deception, I got a 16. And if it's persuasion, I got an 18. All right. You <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still working on that beer. Like, uh, it's the, 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 the new one. I wanted to um, see if you guys would like it, but uh, if you don't like it, I mean, I can cut on uh, the price of the beer. Or. You, like, can't, you can't get, cut up get the price one, of your rooms and it's gonna be all right. Get, get this one as a free sample and we have a deal. Nah, never mind. <laughs> I'm so drinking. But the rooms are... Uh... The rooms are what? Do you, are I was you... trying to bargain for the prices of the room. Yeah, well, you three, got... Three silver for four rooms. That's what I was trying to bargain for. <laughs> Well, you got five room for four silvers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> well, the, there's no place. There's no five rooms. Well, I mean, you you didn't know that. <laughs> you still got five rooms. <laughs> you have one more rooms that you don't you, you don't have any purpose for. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, I get it now. So we got the whole tavern for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that okay, that's good. Well, that's I mean, a deal. The, the, the <laughs> rooms. You have all the rooms. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll make your uh, the preparation for your rooms, um, and yeah, I'll I'll take your payments and. Um, yeah, if you need anything, just uh, let me know. Uh, you 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 can like talk with the people here. Everyone's really fr friendly, except if they are red brands. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, other than that, uh, you you can uh, yeah have fun, enjoy the the town. Okay, thank you. Well, we're going to find a Ford and a Kate. Well, ju just one last thing. Well, and at that I point, tell him like to come in near. I guess they come in, right? Yeah, at that point, at some uh, point, Kate yeah. and uh, okay. well, okay. you're, you're 
you you probably still need to leave someone outside with the cart. Um, uh, so that's right. We got lion heart supplies now. Yeah, right, you lion still shield. have some. You, yeah. you Who still the have the fucker lion heart. Actually, oh, man, actually, the I'm cart is not yours. The cart was Barton's. Uh, I forgot about that, but uh, let's assume that Barton's just uh, landed to you guys to go and. Uh, um, well, I had something uh, to do to, to say with uh, to Kate actually. Right, but yeah, you need to bring back the cart at uh, Barter's. He, he landed you it for one more day, but uh, but yeah, it's not your cart. Okay. Um... So you guys are. Uh, uh, are you entering the inn, or you're just uh, reaching on it? on the way from uh, Barter's to but the wait, inn? Uh, wait, I think uh, uh, Semat was finishing something. Yeah, I I I, I, I uh, do this with my finger before him could come closer. You know that empty room. Um, well, they are all empty right now. <sighs> The one who, was, who won't have anybody in it tonight, All right? You guys took you guys, one more. You, yeah, you guys took there's one. There's an empty room. Oh, okay. Let's talk in that empty room tonight about those the little problems of yours. All right. Yeah, that that sounds uh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, All right. I can come tonight. Uh, <laughs> And I'm slipping uh, two gold, <laughs> just subtly, <laughs> straight up hand. Well, two gold. <laughs> you, you you can make a check to see if the others see it. I can make a slight of hand, I guess. Yep. It's it's contested by passive perception for slight of hand, or yeah. Uh, I'm going to take my. I oh, know I already took my inspiration. Fuck. So that's a twelve. I think Tamara noticed it. What? What? What are you doing, Simat? <laughs> Let's well, talk you, outside, okay? You, you you don't have to tell him, but you you notice something happen. But okay. I just if, wait if for you, the rooms. If you decide to tell him, it's fine. I'm just uh, saying that um, you can just take the information also. You okay. fucking asked me to pay. I paid. Okay, okay, understand. Don't worry. God damn it. Thank you. Okay, so um, we're going outside? Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm finishing my beers, my grogs. I already Good. finished. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So while uh, uh, while Fern and Cade are walking, well, um, Cade, I've asked uh, yeah. the Barton, the, the the shopkeeper we just left. Uh, he said something about uh, a liar, Turlton. I believe you have something to do with her. I believe you mentioned her uh, earlier, or I'm mistaken. I did. Well, uh, she would be found at the, the miners' exchange. Okay. It's uh, well, almost the southest building in Fandalin, so. so that's the information I have. That, that was all. I have asked. That's good. And um, Kate, you already pretty much knew that. <laughs> Amen. And <laughs> wow. could I have uh, retroactively asked him for the cemetery or any monastery or any sepulcher, any cemetery making, building? Making your way to uh, to the inn, right in front, uh, uh, while walking past it, you you see like uh, this building over here uh, seem to be. Um, <laughs> What is it again? Seems to be a shrine of some sort. A shrine? 
Yeah. In the middle here. Well, I, I mean, you didn't go and, and investigate. Um, yeah. Okay. But you, you so pass. I'm, I'm gonna you ask him still. Next, next to it. Uh, uh, pass next to. Okay. I'm gonna ask him still. Where's the cemetery? If there's any gra gravekeepers and uh, Kalembor. You ask it to uh, the the bartender. The innkeeper. Yeah. Um. I mean. Well, there's, yeah. I mean, we, we we do have a small cemetery, like like every other town. Uh, but right in front, the 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 inn, there's also uh, the shrine the shrine of luck, and it's it's run by. It's run by uh, Sister. Gra Gara Hell. Gara Hell. It's an elf. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you need more information? <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm sure it wasn't really what you were looking for, but that's, uh, that's, fine. that's, that's what we have in the town. Thank you. All right, uh, let's on. Uh, we're going um, to get to the back to the group. Yeah, so you meet outside uh, the inn. You now have rooms booked uh, to your name, and two of you guys got L. And um, yeah, what are you? So doing? We're, we're at the inn still. Well, outside. I mean, uh, outside of the inn. You, 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 you all yeah. need outside of the inn. You, you all meet outside the inn. So now we're going to Lionel? Liony? Lion Chill. Yeah, oh, you right. mean Lion? -y. Yeah. We're gonna. Uh, might as well, uh, because uh, the Bortons was kind enough to. Well, extend how long we, we can keep the cart, so. Uh, we have to return it tomorrow, so might as well drop everything we have from the Lion Shield Crest at Lion right now. I think it's a little bit down the road. So, so we're going and we're going go. to get rid of that shit. Forward. Yep. Yeah. So uh, you make your way down uh, the inn, like it's almost next door. Uh, to the Lion Shield coaster. Um, when you arrive there, you see hanging above the front door uh, of this modest tra trading post is a sign shaped like a wooden shield with a blue lion painted on it. Folks, this this is. Uh, do you see? It? That's the crest. It's a lion shield with a blue lion on it. That's the lion shield crest. I'm gonna Dude, take I... a look around and try to see if anyone is looking at us weirdly, following us. I'm very, very uh, looking around. All right, make a perception check. When I told you I was getting out my good, my bad rolls earlier tonight, well now I'm getting good rolls. <laughs> Uh, perception uh, twenty. Nice. Um, yeah. You, you. Well, you you haven't really seen any red brands right now. Um, you, I, I I say maybe not in uh, at the Lion Shield uh, uh, exactly, but passing like the by the street here, you would have uh, noticed like some uh, people. Uh, wearing uh, some like red items walking down the street and like they they, they noticed you guys but uh didn't like uh seek anything red bands walking so we're, down we're... the street <laughs> red bands <laughs> <laughs> Uh, w when we're getting out of hearing, I'm telling the group, we're, they know we're here. These rednecks will know we're here. 
well, I think everyone know we we are here that we don't have business with them, right? Well, yeah, Kate not. that. But if Kate is hiding well, so we don't have to worry about. Uh, did I see? Okay. Did I see them looking at Kate directly, like and seeming to recognize them? Uh, no. Actually, uh, actually, uh, Kate, why don't you make a stealth check? <laughs> Fuck! Why did I say <laughs> that? <laughs> good, good. Oh god. That's a seventeen, right? Yeah. Yeah. So no, the um, like, Kate is pre uh, is very uh good at concealing like uh his his face and right now he 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 doesn't stand out and the the red brand that uh watch you pass by uh wouldn't have noticed uh Kane at, at all he's also small oh, yeah. mm -hmm. it helps <laughs> like with a, like a kid mm. yep so are, are you guys entering the line shield yep Yes. All right. Uh, um, so, yeah. yes. I'm going in first. I open the door. Kind of like a. I'm making a grand entrance. I want. I want to go with. I'm looking for a lion here. I've been told I would find a lion here. Which one of you? Oh, it must be you. So as as you enter, you see a. a Mama, a there's a man looking at me really <laughs> weird. <laughs> you see a woman in maybe uh, 35 years old, and she looks at, at you. Oh, well, what a, a big man. What a, how can I help you? <laughs> how tall is she? <laughs> is, is it an old woman? 35 no, no, years no. old. Okay, he was, years like, old. he was like... He was talking like an old man. <laughs> Already hitting on her. <laughs> oh man, what a handsome boy. <laughs> uh, how tall is uh, Lioni? Well, she's human, pretty standard height, so like uh, five foot and a half. Does she have bone on her meat? Uh, meat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Does she have <laughs> bone on her yeah. meat? Me yeah, me has a bone. A boner. <laughs> no, she's uh like uh, she's like she's in, in shape, like normal. She doesn't oh, okay. have uh that much. Nothing to grab on, okay. Not that much. No. Fine. Uh, how how may I help you? I, I don't know how to do a woman, so it's gonna be that <laughs> Do your best right. woman. I mean, how can I help you? Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure if it's how much we can help you. Well, we we found a like a lot of supplies from Lion Shield Crest uh, in a cave up north. Was it up north? Up north, <laughs> northwest a bit. It, it so was probably stolen by goblins. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> so, uh, is there? Would you take it in, in exchange you... for something else? But yeah, we have. Uh... Want to look, come look at it? It's right outside in our cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can come. <laughs> you uh... certainly can. I can come. <laughs> <laughs> so she makes his way. Uh, she makes her way outside. Oh my, so all these uh, are from the Lion Shield. So did you bang her already? Who, who are you? <laughs> well, uh, we're... Uh, how can I say? Uh, we were hired for supplies, uh, to bring supplies from Neverwinter. And we kind of stumbled across uh, goblins and... We kind of chased them to their caravan. We found those. That's how we found them, basically. 
That's right. We kill all those goblins and those bugbears and those wolves. And I'm, I'm like talking really loud and saying, we got them all. No scratched. Easy peasy. That is impressive. I, I was, I was all, almost wondering like where all, all my caravans going because I haven't like got any new supplies in a long time. So I assumed they were just raided by some, um, some bandit or something. And you guys found it, so that, that's that's really great. Yeah, that's great, but you you ain't got them yet. You got you know, it's a service. Service is usually rendered with gold. Yeah, so yeah, that works. of course. That that's 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 uh, obvious. Uh, I mean, you you, you, you know yeah. you know Syndrome. Syndrome. You know Syndrome. I I'm sorry. I'm I don't know. Central. Salel, Sele, Seler, Lil. What's the name of this guy? Is that is that someone? Are you are you referring to the human we found in the cave? Yeah, that's right. What's yeah, his that's, name? Yeah, that's that's Sildor. Sildor, you know Sildor? No, unfortunately, I don't know any Sildor. Why should 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 I know Sildar? No, just say. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh. I mean. I. Uh. Uh. You want to take the uh, talk price? Well, I, I think the price was already set. No. Um. With whom? I'm looking at uh, Fern. No, the, the price the price was was bargained. That's extra that wasn't bargained with. So no, no price was set on all those supplies. It's only we found them along the way. I mean, if you give me some time I can look into the supplies, see what you guys like brought back and how much I can like uh pay you uh as the price goes. Are you a shopkeeper or something? Well, I mean, yeah. The Lion Shield Coaster is a company, and we sell go goods uh, like that are that comes from um, uh, yeah, it's a company based in Yatar, and uh, we sell like pre-made goods uh, here in Fendelin. It's a small outpost, but uh, I get supplies from uh, mo multiple of places. Yeah, those those crates should contain like uh pre-made chairs and uh tables and vases and like stuff like that. So it's it's the IKEA of that world. Well, I don't know what IKEA <laughs> is, but <laughs> I was asking the DM, but sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do do you sell any other than pre-made stuff? Do you sell weapons? Do you sell armor? Do you... <laughs> I mean, I I do. That's uh... an ugly laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I wouldn't say that. I had too. I have too much, too much, too much wisdom to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my very best. <laughs> um, I think I lost it. I, 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 I... Weapons. Uh, weapons and oh, armor. Oh. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I don't, I don't trade that kind of goods with anyone. Uh, with every, uh, sorry, with, um, with anyone. Well, I guess not anyone brings you back uh, months of supplies at a time, too. Yeah, I know, but I mean, yeah, I I, I guess we could see what uh, we, we can come to an arrangement with that. 
Yeah, I think we could. I just like I just want to make sure that uh the supplies that I sell are used for good. Yes. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Define good. Natural and... 20. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, there's these band of like bandit all over town and I wouldn't want my, I wouldn't want my supplies or selling weapons to help them that's for sure oh uh, we're we've... doing that openly you just you just like that you you're like <laughs> aren't they like breaking your stuff or something or aren't they how how can you resist them what's your trick how i can resist them yeah you're like you won't sell to them so they just come at your house and you you say fuck you well i mean I, I, I keep those hidden and well locked. So you're you're like bluffing. You say you don't have them, and they believe you. Well, yeah. All right. Kind of. <laughs> Twenty gold pieces. She's gonna get tortured in the next year. <laughs> you. I, I don't that. intend and to I'm be like here. And I'm like looking all the group. <laughs> You you want to make a bet with me on my life? No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my friends here. Pretty I sure see. you're going to get a uh, bad ending, girly. Sorry to say. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on myself. And you do the same for you guys. Uh, we're, we're, we've been handling ourselves pretty well. So you want those supplies or not? Yeah, of course. Like, what are you guys going to do with them anyway? If you don't sell, sell it Sell them to you. Yeah. Or sell them to them. To you. The highest, to... highest price. I mean, it's a very specific kind of goods. Yep. Are you taking them or not? Yeah, of course I want them. They right. help kind of, to unload. They're kind of mine. They just never reached. But I'm I'm very uh I'm very happy that you guys like brought them back. And I'll pay for them. Like looking at yeah. those um like you're, uh you're fortunate because uh we won't charge you for these goods. We're good people. We only charge you for the our services. So it's uh five Wait, yes, five person service. That's a deluxe service, by the way. We uh, cleared a cave of goblin to get them. And uh, we have a seductive man who's ready to do a lot of things uh, for a good price. That's uh, just saying. Um, uh, what, what he's trying to say, I think he's trying to say, your price will be ours, basically. I'm trying to say that we're five people offering services. So what's your barely got a live? So it's what, not what? Cheap, just the service. So we're talking about a rate. Kinda, yeah. So what's your guys' rate to kill goblins? It's not to kill the goblins. It's uh, did the whole thing. Yeah. Time. Resource, you know, yeah. all those stuff. I I get it. So what what would be your rate? You're saying that you. I'm you looking want... at. Uh, I'm looking at. Uh, well, the rest of the group. <laughs> I'm looking back. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh So usually we charge. Uh, the, what's the sequela that that was? It, what's the total distance traveled? How many days were they traveling? 
Um, like three, we camped out three, four days. Four? No, no. Traveling with the goods for Lion Chin or traveling total? Total. I don't, I'm not sure how, where you're getting at for, for that. But uh, to total. Well, total days of travel, a certain amount per day, plus the goods. He's going yep. to charge everything to her. <laughs> Four days of travel and uh, everything. Um, would would be um, at least like a four day travel. No, three days to travel from Neverwinter. Three days to total. Well, you you guys took longer than that because you cleared a cave of goblin. Mm -hmm. So it took like five days. Yeah, let's see. All right, so yeah, I'm very transparent in my methods, so I'm gonna just tell them to you. It's twenty gold per piece or, per person per day usually. We traveled five days. I'm gonna cut you off one day because we kind of camped outside to predict the goods. Goblin cave was something else though. Ready we're ready to let God go. Okay? So we're we're, we're letting go the goods themselves. And we only ask you to pay us for our time. There I so twenty gold per person per day. It's four people Times four times I'm... twenty. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> That's a lot of goods. And there was yeah. a lot of goblins out there. I mean I never really hired you guys. Alright, I'm gonna I, get I, them to those redneck I can't Okay, hold... bye. Uh, I mean Okay. Is he just leaving? Or? No, no, no. I'm, uh, well, I'm pretend. Well, I'm kind of making a motion to leave, but uh, le le letting some time sink in to listen to what she has to say. Huh? No, no. Le let's get in uh, here. Hello, how much you're going to pay us for everything? Uh, I mean, um. Looking at the supplies, because like I, I kind of need to make my money. I'm, I'm a shop. I'm not hiring mercenaries. So looking at the supplies that you guys came back, I could probably make, uh, like, part way with forty five gold to be able to, uh, like make profit. So if you guys uh, are kind enough to uh, get back my uh, supplies, I can give you guys 45 gold, the price of the supplies. I'm not sure I get into the whole traveling and like hiring of the whole company for five days. So what do you think, guys? How about 45 gold, 45 gold Go and a discount on weapons and armors? Um, let's say 50 gold and I agree on selling you guys armor and weapons. Depends on what you have. Okay. I mean, I don't have a lot but um, I can show you guys that was my question actually can you show us um, do you have a press button yeah. like did you shopkeep I has I didn't make it do you have a full plate yeah <laughs> 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 give, give me a I, I didn't split uh, the, the 50 gold from Barton, so I, I'm rich. 
I can buy a full plate. Okay. Mm. Just kidding, I cannot. Mm. You're looking for heavy armor or? Well, not necessarily. I mean, like, uh, she might uh, like she have a couple of armor pieces and a couple of weapons we can uh, you can ask her if she have uh, what you want uh wait i cannot say what i want precisely so so would that be a deal it's fine by me. I don't care about the armors and stuff. I got everything I need here. So if you guys don't want to want anything, I would say like put it up to 60 and we're done with it. Make your persuasion check. Fourteen. Um, you. You are a very stubborn man. He's a dwarf, lady. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, let's say part of I can part with thing. 55 gold. And that's my final offer. Well, it's fine by me. I was going to drink it all anyway. <laughs> you, 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 sh yeah, you, that's a good idea. Hey, you got the uh, problems with these, um, rednecks? You mean, you mean the red brands? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, everyone in town have some form of trouble with them. Who doesn't have trouble? Have trouble with them? Yeah. Well, I would say, um, like the town master doesn't seem to care. That's for sure. I don't know if he has any arrangement with them, but every time we try to bring it up or, um, have him do anything he just say that they're not a problem anyone else who who's leading them um i've only heard rumors but some says that the leader is named glass staff like staff of glass i assume it is yeah That's never good. Why, why is that? Well, I expect some magical stuff. <laughs> I, 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 could, I couldn't say, really. I only heard the name. But uh, yeah, you make a fair point, I assume. And who's that? Uh, Garalaya. Who? She takes care of the shrine in the middle of town. Oh, Sister Galilea. I mean, what? Uh, She's a sister of what? Was it a shrine for her? I'm not into, like, deities all that much. I think there's well, just... Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me stop you right there. You better find one. You better believe that's an important stuff, lady. You gotta yeah. believe. I, I, I will. I, I will. You know so what I happens sh to dead souls when they don't believe in anything? Um, enlighten me. Well, they get molded to a wall with other souls that have no beliefs, and they hang out there for eternity. 
that sounds awful. Yeah, so better get believing. But, like, there's so many gods. <laughs> well, you're doing trading. We'll get to, I don't know. I don't know what's there. Do you like dead people? I'm a priest of, I'm a cleric of Kalimvor. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. But you didn't say your name. I am uh, Semat Un. Nice to meet you, Semat Un. Um, I, I'll keep that in mind about your. That's your... Fern, and that's Tordara, and that's a uh, kid. Did you say Tordara? Like is that Tur her name? Is, is that is that really her name? Tordara, nice to meet you. Oh, Tardara. That that's better. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm Fern. Um, on the whip, would you have any Warhammer on sale though? Warhammer. Yes. Precisely a Warhammer. Let me. Warhammer. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, actually, I do. Yeah, I gotta look if it's actually an upgrade. <laughs> what? I have to look at if it's actually an upgrade or if I'm just trading one for one. It's one day, D8, plunge the name. Uh-huh. But the thing is plungeoning, but the Warhammer is versatile. Not sure what versatility does precisely. It's uh, you can wield it one handed or two handed. Yeah, but what does it do if you're two handed? You get uh, but better what is damage? damage. One okay. d ten, one d ten for two handed, and one d eight for single handed. I think it's bl blood engine damage. Yeah, it's like engine. a long sword. It's a, we can wield a long sword in one hand and do one d eight, or two hands and do one d eight. Depends if you have a shield or not at the time. Uh, always have a shield. Uh, da, 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 da. yep. Um, I, I, if you want to trade with us, I'll buy you the warhammer. Uh, would you exchange it for flail? Would you buy my flail back? It's in good condition. He's got a nice flail. Is, is it, though? Yeah, it is. I, I'm taking good care of my weapons, always. I always rub I, my weapon after a fight. I, He's I, always in there grabbing it and rubbing it. And I'm always rubbing it. <laughs> that, that sounds weird. Um, I mean, I'm not into, like, um, like, I do have some weapons that I sell, but i not, like, uh, in the weapon business to uh, start doing trading. I fine. can certainly, uh, sell it to you, though. I'll buy it. It's, uh, the, the price for the, the, the big walk. Farmer is uh, fifteen gold pieces. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Give me the warhammer. I, she gives you the warhammer. I know. Add item. Mm. All right. Is there anything else I can help you guys with? I feel we should be talking for a while, but it's getting late, and uh, yeah, we have to I go to meeting Sildor, tomorrow yeah. early. You have what? <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, as she hand me the warhammer, I just 
taken my uh, I kind of put away my flail I take a, my warhammer and I kind of <laughs> rub it a bit oh god all right so uh, um as you guys leave you're leaving right yeah well We wouldn't have other questions to ask her, I guess, from like what she knows in town, where she been, what she's doing, everything. But um, well, I mean, you it's can... it's getting late. <laughs> yeah, so uh, many it's people late. To talk we to we and... have to go see Seldor back at the inn. He's supposed to meet us. Yeah, yeah, we're supposed to see Seldor. I got a shrine to visit. Got a cemetery to visit. They got, you know. Uh, she gave us how much money for uh, the whole thing? 55. Divided by fur. fur. I, I don't know so, how uh, you guys are keeping track. Like of 14, that. about so, 14 each. Because you get you got 50 from barters. Yes. And you got uh, 55 from this girl. Yep. So it, it's uh, 105. It's uh, 26 gold pieces and 25 um, silver pieces. Okay. Well, so, uh, we split it. 26 gold. What? We split it. Uh, no, no, it's 105, uh, 25. 105 yeah. divided by 4 is 26.25. And since, since 25 silver is actually... Um, is actually... Two gold and a half. But it's 28 gold pieces plus five silver pieces. Okay. So everybody, add that 28 plus. Uh, oh, we'll have to remove those. All right. So you're getting out? Yep, I'm getting out. I'm heading uh, for the inn to go see Seldor. So, as you head back in the street, you see four armed ruffians waiting for oh, you. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. all, of, all of them are humans wearing grimy red cloaks. Their hands on their weapons as they watch you. One of the ruffians spit on the ground. Time for you to move on, strangers. Give us your stuff. And be on your way. Ah, and come we're on. gonna leave it there for tonight. Oh, I had a, a perfect opening. <laughs> so we're going to be. Well, we just gave her our stuff, so we gotta get, you gotta get it to her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Yep. Yeah, it was a uh, uh, role play film. Uh, kind of towns. <laughs> towns are a lot of role play, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where are we? <laughs> I, I hope it's not too boring. Like I'm trying to make the character interesting, but it's, uh, it's well, my, voice my acting. Sport. It's uh, <laughs> your voice are excellent. Yeah. I'm... Hey. Hey, it's <laughs> it's tricky. Crazy man. But I mean, being in yeah, a town, it's it's, it's, uh, do that. It's like uh, just uh, asking and. Do the stuff and uh, yeah. do the little things that you can do while you are traveling. So, yeah. well, it's, it's, it's nice and uh, we're going to see what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, I love it. I love it. See you guys next well, week. Yeah. Thank well, you very yeah, much. Ne next week I'm on vacation. I don't know if I'm going to be there. All right. I don't know, so I'm gonna tell you in advance, but like, feel free to do a session even if, even if I'm not there. But well, we're gonna miss our cleric. Me. No cleric. cleric. It's gonna be bad. Or, or maybe play my 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 banam. Yeah, that's we usually do what that they well. do. Uh, in critical role, that's what they do when Yasha is. Wait, what? There. We could have uh, kept uh, flow. Wow. You could have, but I mean, they're not going to come back. So you're just going <laughs> to drag right. them along forever. Yeah. 
we're not talking about one session here. We're just talking about lifetime. Doing... Yeah, it's because ta... it wasn't just Flo. It was also um... uh, Lolita and uh, Lolita Goliath. And, and Goliath. That oh my you... God, there were a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Like, it was supposed to be six people coming. Believe me, Kevin, you you, you started with the right size group. Yeah. Like four four players is the right size group to start. Three yeah. to four tops. I have been in tables where we are nine people. Nine. 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 <laughs> it is really, really, really hard for the DM. Yeah. To yeah. uh, <laughs> manage. Get the, the game. So yeah. Somewhere, because like everyone must be yeah. always like talking over yeah. each other it must be crazy. there's not a lot of progress and i don't know how mercer does with six players honestly he's like and they they what well they they do well in letting you know stuff go as well yeah yeah, yeah. but maybe it's because uh i noticed that uh matthew do this thing like he's always like uh, in track 